What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister and Zero One back at you today, bringing you something very special. I have recently went out and purchased the brand new Hitman HD collection. This includes Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, Hitman Contracts, and as well as on a second disc, Hitman Blood Money, which we already have as well. So I decided we're going to start at the beginning here and go over Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. This is an HD kind of uh, port of an SD game, so it's not really... Um, it's just pretty much repackaged, uh, upgraded to HD graphics. Nothing has really been enhanced too much, but the game does look a lot better on an HD TV screen, and hopefully you guys will enjoy too. Of course, you guys know I love the stealth gameplay, so we're going for Silent Assassin on every mission, and we're going to be playing it at the most hardest difficulty possible, which I believe is professional. So without further ado, grab some popcorn. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, please like these videos for more Hitman games, and uh, it's go time. So what is this? Drugs? Prostitution? Extortion? I heard rumors of this project in Indochina years ago, but I never knew Seems they actually had the resources to pull it off. I'm most impressed. Well, what does it say here? An augmented, amplified, and improved version of the human species. Why won't anyone clone a little fool like my brother? Where did this take place? Um... In some remote location in Romania. Doesn't say exactly, but I know how to find it if you're interested. So you already knew he had been here? Sort of. But is he for hire? He used to be. But I've heard no reports on his activities for a very long time. So, for all I know, he could be dead. Dead? Ты что, совсем сдурел? This tape proves that he's still alive. Now you just have to make him work for us. Well, let's go find him then. A killer like that never retires. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Uh, have not played this game in years, uh, but it is a great game. All the Hitman games are great. Uh, the true form of stealth in this game, definitely way before Sam Fisher. Um, of course, not before Metal Gear, but this is definitely a different, a different type of stealth than any of those two games. It's... Um, just way different. I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain it. They all have their great merits, but this game is kind of uh, just one of those great games that really shows you um, a playground kind of sandbox that you can perform inside each level. So let's check out the options here. This is the Xbox 360 version of this HD remake. Uh, subtitles on, all that stuff. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And uh, let's check out the controller. All right, so we'll pretty much get used to everything, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the inside. So without further ado, here we go. We're going to do this on the professional difficulty, and hopefully you guys enjoy with Silent Assassin, and uh, let's do it.
All right, here we go. As you can see, the game looks a lot better than it used to. Uh, I believe I first played this on the regular Xbox. Um, great game, though. Very excited. Can't wait to get into this. So we'll pretty much go through the controls. I believe this is just the tutorial level. So very explanatory, and uh, let's do it. You can see we got a father waiting for us outside. Buongiorno, figlio mio. Come va? Padre, I'm okay, but I must speak with you. Taci, figlio mio. Be quiet, my son. We have a saying here in Sicily. Non saccio, non vede, non cero, e se cera non mia. So, if you want to open your hearts, the only safe place is a confession in church. Meet me there, Noon. All right, so we need to head to the confession booth. We can take a few minutes to look around. Go to the ruin for basic training. Let's see uh, if we can do something there. Since we got some time. All right, so to peek through, obviously, that's pretty self-explanatory. We already did that once. To crawl through the small hole in the wall, uh, LB, all right. You can see how slow he kind of moves. But you got to hold it down. To climb the ladder, move in front, and just walk up. Alright, so that's pretty simple. Very easy little tutorial to let you know some of the controls. And you can run. Alright, press the back button, open up your map. Of course, that's one thing that we love about the older Hitman games is the fact that it's kind of like a real-time map. Uh-oh, we know what that means. It's time to go to confession. So we'll get through everything else uh, out here once we do that, so... I do say, you know, this game obviously is showing its age. It's a little rough around the edges, but in HD on this, you know, nice 56-inch TV that I got, it actually looks pretty crisp, and I'm uh, very pleased with it. And, of course, you got achievements, so that's always going to be fun. You can see how slow he moves. This is the normal pushed all the way forward walk, um, and it is very slow, so if you want to go any faster, you have to run. So that's the only thing I would say that sucks about these is the fact that you can't really, um, there's nothing in between. It's either run or slow ass walk. But of course in Hitman games, everything is all about timing and, uh, you know, so walking is probably going to be something I do a lot, of course, unless there's enemies around and whatnot. So, all right, let's go to confession. Padre, I have sinned. Avanti figlio mio, continue, my son. I have done some terrible things in my life. I... I have killed many people for money, out of ignorance, out of evil, out of hatred. Figlio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I've seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. Your soul is on the right path. But father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O oh Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk alone and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. Benvenuti, ragazzi. Purtroppo la chiesa è chiusa. Venite domani, per favore. Benvenuto, vecchio amico mio. Non è questo il momento di darci per favore, appuntamento. Aiutatemi, lasciatemi, lasciatemi, per favore. Lasciatemi. Oh, lasciatemi. Porca troia. Dai, stai giù, giù, giù. Eh?
All right, we gotta find the parcel. Looks like it's placed right outside, so shouldn't be too hard. All right, no enemies around. Yeah, they they just left. Benvenuto in Sicilia, Bersano. We hope you enjoyed the famous Italian hospitality on our beautiful island. However, there will be a slight charge for your stay. You will prepare a cash transfer of $500,000. No later than midnight the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be entertaining your host, Padre Vittorio. He very much enjoys fishing. We are making sure he is happy that way until payment has been effected. Lei sentirà de noi, Giuseppe Giuliano. Five hundred thousand dollars. Can't pay that. I'm going to the garden shed. Time to dig up the past. All right, so Hitman is back in action. It's time to find out where uh, Padre went. Agency, this is 47. Patch me through to Diana. We need to confirm your ID registration, please. My number is BRO3886. Put Diana on, she'll recognize my voice. 47? This is Diana speaking. It's good to hear your voice again. We all thought you were dead. You'll be pleased to know your skills are in great demand these days. You're almost a legend amongst our customers. Diana, I'm not looking for work. I need some information. On a Giuseppe Giuliano from Palermo in Sicily. What have you got? Let me see, Giuseppe. Oh yes, I've got a fat file. Giuseppe Giuliano, Acca Don Aguilo Giuliano, capo of one of the largest, oldest, and most influential mafia organizations in Sicily. I need detailed satellite surveillance on his residence, and info on security and access routes. And keep an eye out for a priest. He's a friend of mine and was kidnapped. A friend? Have you gone soft, 47? Besides, we don't believe in handing over information for free. How do you think you're going to pay us back? I've heard that you're extremely wealthy. Yes, I know. I've heard that rumor too. It's not true, though. But I'm sure you can suggest an arrangement. I'll pull a few strings and see what I can do. Actually... I do have a special request for you to perform a contract assignment. Should be a simple operation. A mission? Exactly. If you accept, I might be able to give you the requested information very soon. What do you say, 47? Still sharp enough to handle a job these days? Oh, I think we are. It's been a while, 47. So let's just run through the basic routines together. Agency just wants to make sure you're not too rusty before your first mission. So you can enter the garden shed and start the mission, but we're going to learn some controls first. We got a kitchen knife, we got our ballers. You can still go into first person view. You can take it out on this scarecrow. This is actually one of the most freakiest scarecrows there are. Reason being is when you get close enough, he, <laughs> he follows you. Look how scary that shit is. That's awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here to the shed. Uh, inside here, uh, you can see it's kind of where all of our weapon stash is, so we got to pick the lock. Everything's automatic, so you don't have to worry about no lock picking mini games or anything like that. But you do want to make sure you have time whenever you do this and there's no enemies nearby. Uh, not right now, obviously, but for further missions down the road. So what we're going to pick up right now is our trusty fiber wire. Which we will be using that mainly for the actual contract assignments. And of course we'll be using the anesthetic for any other type of uh, enemies. Because we are going to be hopefully doing a uh, non-lethal playthrough. Which means we're only going to be really going after uh, guards that need to die. And here's a little short tutorial on how to use the fiber wire. Now there's two ways you can actually bring up your weapons. One way is you can hold down the X button and press up or down on the D-pad to go through the weapons. 
or if you don't want to do that you can actually just press the B button and um, you know go up or down as well and you can actually get an eye on the weapon that you have uh, so it's really up to you I just think the faster way is pretty much just to hold the B button and you can get your ballers out hold it again you can change it up you know whatever you want I think that's the easiest so in order to use the fiber wire uh, the simple basic way to do it is you know hold down the LB get in that silent crouched mode uh, hold down RT get up as soon as you do right behind him and then pretty much let go a little different than uh, Hitman Absolution but still uh, effective nonetheless so I think we're pretty much ready to do this uh, first mission is gonna be a doozy it's gonna be pretty easy uh, it's still kind of like a tutorial mission and it's not too hard at all so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get in here hopefully you guys enjoy this has been part one of my Hitman Silent Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD remake walkthrough hopefully you guys enjoy don't forget to comment rate subscribe and uh, yeah, let's finish it up. Forty-seven, this is Diana from Agency. We're all happy you're back doing business for us. This mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds, Buena Fortuna 47. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Mission number one, Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, HD walkthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part. It wasn't really a mission, more of a prologue, but just kind of get you into the controls and a little bit of the story. Uh, it's great to be back with Hitman, definitely one of my favorite series, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So what we're going to do is we're going to infiltrate this compound. We're going to try to find the easiest, safest, stealthiest, and of course complete this mission with a Silent Assassin ranking. Which uh, is very possible. All of the Hitman games up to Absolution were pretty much all apart. Uh, separate worlds. Each mission had its kind of its own facility, its own place, and things to do. So pretty much just get your anesthetic out here. Go into uh, silent mode. This guy's taking a piss. And as soon as you get up here, hold down the RT button. Knock this guy out. Now the trick with using the anesthetic is, because we're doing a non-lethal playthrough, is that this guy will wake up eventually. So you want to do this, um, you want to do this rather quickly, because uh, when you're on your way back out here, he will be um, pretty much up, and you're going to have to, I think, pretty much do it again. So get his body over here, be as quickly as you can, and pick up whatever miscellaneous items that he has, and take his clothes, of course. Alright, so we got our garbs, and we can do this. So, um, I definitely recommend walking, because the moment you start running, they will pretty much know that you're not who you say you are, so... Which is a little bit different, you know, you had instinct in Hitman Absolution. Here, you don't get instinct, and you're a lot more freer to walk around uh, the guards. However, if you get too close and you stay right in front of them, then they're gonna catch you. So the trick is to constantly be moving when you're around the guards, uh, that way you don't get caught. If you're too close and their eyes are like literally right next to yours, you're going to get caught, period. You can see it goes up to red there and it almost, but it doesn't. Because I'm still moving, it's kind of wavering back and forth. But if I would have stopped, then most likely I would have been caught. So it's just some stuff you kind of have to get reacquainted with when you bring yourself back into the original uh, Hitman games. But it's still all basic for it. It's all about that timing and when you need to complete an objective and where the guards are. And So uh, if you've done it in my timing, then you should be good. You go right up this ladder and then you'll be able to head over to the Don. As you can see, this is a, a beautiful game. This is still doesn't look too bad for being, you know, over 10 years old. 
It's definitely a lot crispier since this is the um, HD remake version or whatever you want to call it. So there's two ways that you can en enter through here. You can obviously go through this door, which I'll show you why you don't want to. Because uh, the guy is looking in this direction, so... We're going to go through the other door and we're going to sneak up behind him and take him out with the fiber wire. You don't have to worry about anybody that's down there. You're in this disguise, you're fine. However, you will when you come out with the body, so we'll definitely look out for that too. Go ahead and equip your fiber wire. Get in your stealth pose. And let's do it. The only thing that sucks is he goes so slow when he gets in his stealth pose. Obviously, with the fiber wire, you have to hit RT way before you even get up to the target to get it ready. So that's another thing that's, you know, different from Absolution. So we've completed it, and now we need to take whatever we need to and of course drag his body. So here's the trick part where you can get caught pretty easily. You gotta watch out for the guard, make sure that he's turned in that direction and going the other way. And then you can head out the door. Uh, if you don't and the guard is looking in this direction then he'll obviously see something's up and then that'll be it. Now you should see on the screen up close that the other guard is pretty much woken. Uh, because the anesthesia only lasts for a certain amount of time. It's not like the whole the whole thing so uh, stay along this side here and then uh, pretty much get down that guard's gonna be waking up soon down there but we're almost done with our objective and we have the room key so we can just go right through As you can see the guards already found the dead mafia boss which is nothing on us so we're good Diana he's not in the basement they must have moved him 47 this is Diana from agency you're probably right Recent satellite footage suggests a priest being dragged along by four bearded Russian-looking types in uniform. Alright, so we're good to go so far. Let's keep going. Alright, looks like that guy is still knocked out, so it looks like we're doing a really good time. Now, he can wake up. Um, I've, I've done this mission before where he is actually woken up. So I guess it just depends on how fast you are or, you know... Uh, it could also depend on how long you hold the RT button when you're taking them out, so maybe just a little bit longer will actually help you. Alright, so now we can pretty much exit through here. However, before you do that, make sure you look through the keyhole. If you're exactly, that's exactly why you want to look through the keyhole. Our timing has been perfect, and we needed to wait. And pretty much as soon as he passes a little bit, we're good to run. Now there's another exfiltration method that you can use, which is the actual car, uh, and I'll show you. There's an actual, uh, if you can see it here. There's a garage, as you can see, it's kind of lightening up, which means that you could use that if you wanted to. Uh, but you'd have to find the key. Uh, this way, you don't need a key, and you can just exit, and mission is complete. Yes, I want to save the game. Oh, my controller went out. Oops. <laughs> right on time. I remember I'm hitting the X button or the A button. And my controller turned off, so it looks like I need a new battery. All right, so we achieved Silent Assassin, and we picked up our bonus weapon, Silver Baller 45 Suppressed. 47, Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. It's really hard to tell where Vittorio was taken. We lost track of him in the airport. The agency does, however, feel that we fulfilled our end of the deal and expect you to comply with the terms by completing a minor assignment in St. Petersburg. Your objective is to take out an ex-KGB officer participating... ...47, Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. It's really hard to tell where Vittorio was taken. We lost track of him in the airport. The agency does, however, feel that we fulfilled our end of the deal and expect you to comply with the terms by completing a minor assignment in St. Petersburg. Your objective is to take out an ex-KGB officer participating in a secret meeting solely arranged so that you can take a clean shot at this officer. The meeting is taking place at 1300 hours today in the Pushkin building in Varozhnitsk Square. The room is on the second floor in the west wing, overlooking the square. The windows are marked on the attached image. The building is the former FSB headquarters and can only be accessed from the square. There's one main entrance and a back entrance, both heavily guarded by FSB paramilitary personnel. 
the target must be eliminated during the meeting, which is scheduled to last five minutes. Absolutely nobody in the meeting room except the target must be harmed. This is very important, 47. Upon arrival by Metro, you will find your equipment and paraphernalia in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. Avoid all contacts with soldiers and guards. They are instructed to remove any civilians from the area. St. Petersburg had seen its share of bullets and betrayal over the years. Not an easy place for a comeback. I suspect both guards and soldiers here are well trained and highly suspicious of foreigners. I have to rely on the element of surprise. They don't expect me. And if I keep it cool, clean and quiet, they'll never know what hit them. Now, let's find locker number 137. Ladies and gents, Sense Train Zero One, your host back at you with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. The newly released HD trilogy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. This is mission number two uh, in St. Petersburg. And we got a classic assassination type for this one. Definitely love using uh, the sniper rifle and any chance that I get to complete a mission like this. Brings back lots of great memories. So here we go, let's do it. Looks like we need to find locker 137. Alright, so, uh, once we have it unlocked, go ahead and pretty much get away. As you can see, there's a couple of guards that uh, kind of patrol this area. Um, we're not caught basically just being down here, but uh, we can be caught if, um, you know, we're seen with carrying weapons or anything like that. As you can see, I can clearly just walk right up to the guy and everything is perfectly fine and whatnot. But we're going to wait right now until he kind of gets out of the way and he turns around. But if you get too close to him, as you can see, he will continue to kind of like uh, move around back and Looks forth. Looks like the meeting so. is starting ahead of schedule. Be ready, 47. All right, now that we're clear, let's open this up. And let's pick up all the stuff that we need to. And that's it. Alright, so let's make our way up here. Now, as you can see, we actually have the weapons still in our hand. So, um, that's what I really love about the Hitman games is the uh, authenticity to the realism. Uh, obviously, we can't hide the weapons, so... It's really cool that he keeps it in his hand like that. So, we really gotta be more cautious around people and all that great stuff, so... Alright, so far so good. Let's keep it up. As you can see, it's all based off of timing, so if you weren't exactly with the timing that I was, then you're probably not going to be able to get through there as easily. Uh, that's definitely one thing about these games, is timing is a lot different, and every single time you do it, if you just waver just slightly, uh, it kind of throws everything off. So it's kind of like you need that uh, you got to find the one way where everyone is going to be in a certain situation. That's where they're going to be, and then that's the kind of the way that you continue to do it every time that you're going through this mission. And that's what I did to learn uh, this map and whatnot, to learn where the players are going to be and the enemies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I study it. I find out what the patrol patterns are. What happens if I mess up one of their patterns? You know, does it screw me up for going forward and, and whatnot? So that's a little kind of tip for you guys. Which I'm sure a lot of you already know that. Alright, so, I always I always find that to be kind of weird, um, his, his uh, weapon sticking up out of a manhole <laughs> uh, would obviously give somebody away. So, um, you can't really tell right here, but you can just barely see it. There is a uniform that is there for us that we're going to be grabbing here in just a second. It's going to make getting through this next section a lot easier than uh, using our suit. So wait till we see this guy's feet, then we can get up here. 
as long as his back's to us and there's also a couple of other guys over there their back should be to us and we should be good so get your clothes and we can freely run through this section right here remember we still have a weapon in our hand it could and it could give us away it is not a standard issue uh, weapon for these guys so all right still making our way should be a guy right there okay the meeting will begin in five minutes uh, as long as you're running over here, then you should be fine. Okay, start walking just to get the layout of the land. Okay, we're good. Uh, that's where we're going to be shooting from, as you can see, and there is the building we're going to be shooting into. So nobody's looking in our direction right now, so we're good to, good to run. So we're going to head up the stairs here twice. All right, and we're coming up to our objective. Now, oh, I'll just let the her meeting talk. will begin in 4 minutes. Get ready. Uh, sorry if I've been talking through that, but the subtitles are on, so you guys should at least be able to get something. You never know when she's going to uh, you know, come on and talk and whatnot. So, um, if you want to discard your weapon after you're done shooting it, press the Y button as soon as possible and get the heck out of the room. Uh, that will be definitely key uh, so you won't get caught. So, here we go. Diana, it appears that a total of four generals have joined the meeting. I need extra information to pinpoint my target. That sounds strange, 47, and unexpected. Here's what I've got. The target is about 60 years old, a general in uniform. Do not execute until you have an absolute positive ID on the target, 47. I'll check the files for more detailed info. Be back with you in a sec. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got a guy with an eye patch here, uh, a couple of cigar smoking guys, and someone 47, drinking. 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right handed. That narrows it down, but still no positive ID. My time slot is slipping. Any additional info? 47, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. Okay. It's close, but still no 100% ID. Hold on, 47. I've got his personal file right here with a recent photo. 47, he's bald. That doesn't narrow it down. But we know who it is already. 47, it appears he's a non-smoker. Alright, so he's another non-smoker, but he also has a drink in his hand. You can't really see it, but... I have visible contact and positive ID. All right, so it's time to kill him. All right, so that was a little sloppy, but we got out of there in time and we didn't get caught. Sweet. We discarded the weapon. And it's time to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, I'm still learning the controls here. It's been a while since I played this game, and plus it's on the Xbox 360, so I forgot which button to press. All right, so now it's time to get out of here and go back to the uh, extraction point. All right, so don't run right here. I just almost did. But we're still too far close to people right now, so we're going to walk just until we get to a point where I think it's safe to run. Uh, we're just going to head back to the same way that we were before and get our uniform back and hopefully we can uh, get to safety before anybody actually catches us. Once I get around this corner here, that's when I'll actually start uh, running. Alright, I think we're still good. All right, let's go. Haven't seen anything unusual just yet. So I'm I'm just, you know, assuming we're still good. I wish it could let you know, but obviously we're not going to run with the guy right there.
Alright, let's get out of here. It's very intense. I love it. Might be just a little sloppy, but we're doing alright. Let's get our clothes back on and head back into the manhole. Uh, to my knowledge, no one has been alerted yet. I haven't seen any red marks or anybody coming after me or whatnot, so... Let's just get the hell out of here. This was a definitely a huge open kind of uh, map, a level to, to worry about. Lots of different ways that you could complete it. Uh, the way I went was just one of many. I, I think I found that to be the easiest, the fastest. And to get in there, get out, and uh, hopefully not be seen. Alright, so we've got a tricky part up ahead because we don't want to get caught on the way out. Alright, so there's that guy. Okay, looks like we're good. A little bit kind of in the in the black a little bit. We never went to the red, so we should be good to go. Alright. Like when you're running, his tie moves. You see his tie's on his left side. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we've got no weapons in our hands, so we should be good to go. Alright, let's get back on the train. And uh, this is the point where we're going to find out how good we did. Let's do it. Yes. Yes, alright, for achieving Silent Assassin rating, we have got another silver bar of 44 suppressed, so that makes two. All right, so let's see how we did. Shots fired, one. Um, alerts, one, which obviously was, um, I'm guessing, uh, you know, from, you really can't get a perfect score on this one, I guess, because the whole fact that you're shooting someone and there's four of the people around, so you're going to get an alert. But there was no alert for us as far as where we were or being seen, and stealth is going to be down a little bit. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think I did a, a good job. Here we go, 47. First of all, on behalf of all of us at Agency, thanks for continuing with us to clean up all this mess. You are required to return to St. Petersburg. It seems that your previous assassination really scared the remaining generals. They have all begun their own investigations into what happened. Our client is pretty unhappy about this. We need to stop these generals fast. We've received information that one of them, General Makarov, is to meet a local mafia boss to buy some protection and hopefully info on who could have carried out the hit. They have a preferred meeting point in Kirov Park, nice, secluded, and out in the open. We've got some old spy footage on them meeting previously for your reference. Our intelligence says they are scheduled to meet in Kirov Park at 1400 hours today, local time. Check your map. They will both be arriving in armored Zil 115 limos, but in separate motorcades. Watch out for roadblocks and patrolling guards. You will find your equipment down by the pier. 47, I repeat, intercept the meeting and eliminate both targets. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 back at you with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough for the Xbox 360. This is mission number three. Hopefully we're going to give you guys maybe a different way to complete this mission today. Uh, something a little unique and uh, might be a little fun. So we're going to go ahead and get down. Take this guy out. Don't even worry about the limousine that is coming this way because they will actually not see you. So it's pretty funny that way too. But we're going to take this guy out and we're going to drag his body and take his clothes. Since we're doing this a little bit more up close and personal, we're going to need to get a disguise. Uh, you can actually complete this mission without any disguises. Uh, and it's rather easy. I mean, it's not really that hard. 
but I figure, you know what, I'll give you guys a little, uh, something a little bit more fun today. So here's where all the weapons are stashed that you need. There's a couple of car bombs and a sniper rifle. So those are just two methods that you can do, and of course here is another one. Um, this part right here is one of the trickiest, uh, doing it the way that I'm doing it. Reason being is there's a guard here who keeps continually looking left and right. So wait until he is done looking in this direction and then you can move up. He's going to turn around automatically, but if you're fast enough and you can get your head away, uh, you might be able to make it in without being spotted. That was actually pretty close. I could feel the vibration, but uh, we made it by and we're good. That will take you a few tries. If you get it on your first, well then you're just a freaking god. But that definitely took me a few tries to do that. Uh, but as you can see, this whole section in here is pretty much our playground. All the enemies are looking in the opposite direction. Uh, there's the first general. And since I'm in here and we've got a few minutes before they both meet up, um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can go into the cathedral. You can see a guard up there. And you can use the sniper rifle and take them out at the same time. And there's also another sniper point over here. You can see just right there. Um, and there's also the car bomb route. Now the car bomb route is... Um, Probably the easiest because you don't really have to interfere with anybody, but you do have to take one guy out, and that's the driver in order to get to the second car. Um, but it also, you kill more enemies than you should be because you're going to take out the drivers and anyone that's near the limousines. And since we don't want to do that, we only want to kill our targets. I feel that I'm going to go for this method just because it eliminates our targets without taking anyone else out. So now we're just going to wait patiently for them both to meet up. We've got our kitchen knife equipped and we're going to be going for a double kill with one slice. So we're just waiting for the second guy to come up. They're going to give, you, uh, they're going to give each other a big hug because they're best friends and they're going to die in each other's arms. So that's pretty cool. And again, the trickiest part is actually making it out of here because of the whole disguise meter and all that. Alright, so here we go. Wait till they give each other a hug. No one's looking. And they're dead. <laughs> is that just not hilarious? Alright, so like I said, this is the hardest part. Um, you've got two you know, different ways that you can go out, but it's so difficult to do either way. Um, it's really, like I said, based off luck. So I definitely suggest going ahead and getting down now. Um, you want to get as close as you can to this guy before um, you start to pass him. Reason being is you want the least amount of time that you're near him uh, whenever you're passing him with this disguise. So, all right, you can get up now. And let's see if we made it. Yes, woo! That was close. And don't ruin anything by starting to run now because you will be caught. Definitely take your time. Um, this is a very short mission if you do it this way, probably shorter than any other way. Uh, as a you know, if you want to get that silent assassin, this is definitely the shortest way to do it. Um, any other way, then you would just be going in and killing people, and of course, that's not going to get you the silent assassin. Now, the other thing is, we need to make sure that this guy up ahead is still sedated. Hopefully, we haven't been too long, and uh, he's still obviously you know sedated. But we're going to find out up ahead because I've actually never made it this far. Whenever um, I've done this, so I'm hoping that I'm okay. All right, good. All right, let's change our clothes back. And we are good to go. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> Mission complete. Targets taken down. Very short video as far as the actual video goes. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully we got Silent Assassin. We'll find out. Yes, all right. I don't know why we keep getting a bonus weapon. We already have those. Alright, so Perfect Stealth completed the mission in 4 minutes and 45 seconds. 47. Diana here. Brilliant. Our client is most satisfied, but is still in a hurry to stop the last two generals before they get close to the truth. We've received information that one of the generals, General Mikhail Badachenko, is interrogating people in the basement of the military facilities just off Nevsky Prospect. The video was recorded by a security cam almost two days ago, so we have to hurry. Somewhere in the multi-level maze of corridors, you will find your target. Make sure the prisoner being interrogated escapes unscathed. Your equipment is in the supply yard near a crate marked FCK, just behind the main entrance. 
Security is beefed up because of rumors of an impending assassination attempt on the general. So, once you've completed your mission, there's only one way out. Blast your way through a wall out into the sewers and return to the subway. We've located the only place where the walls are thin enough. It's marked on your map. Keep it clean, 47. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 back at you again with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. This time we've got mission number four. We are again in St. Petersburg. And uh, look, yeah, I'm not even sure how much of this game actually takes place in St. Petersburg, but it looks like a lot so far. Uh, we've got to use these under underground tunnels again. But uh, this is another great mission. Uh, a little bit longer than the other missions. Um, but uh, we're going to remain stealthy as possible. Definitely a lot of fun that can be had on this mission. Um, however, we don't get to start out with an an anesthesia, which what we've been using in every mission so far. We get to you actually get to choose that right after the mission briefing screen. But uh, we're not going to get the chance to do that uh, because it, it just didn't give us the chance to. So uh, wait a few seconds. Once he passes, then you can move forward. There's going to be a guard up here. You can see him right there. Go ahead and start running now because if you don't, uh, he'll be able to see you. Uh, so if you've timed everything right, then you'll be able to go right by. Get to this point here and stop. All right, the guard's not there anymore. So now we can head this way. Timing should have been pretty good so far. Now, if uh, you weren't worried about killing that guard back there, you could um, actually just get into the truck. Once you get your stuff here, you would have used his disguise and you'd be able to get right in and maybe not take as much time. But go ahead and grab everything you see here. Uh, we need to be a little bit patient right here. So You can see there's a guard and he's hitting back over to this area right there. Uh, so this is where you need to be a little bit patient. There's a manhole right where he's standing and that's where we need to go. Now like I said, if you didn't want to do the non-lethal route, you didn't care about fiber wiring a regular enemy, then you could have actually taken his disguise, came over here a little bit easier, grabbed your stuff, went back to the truck that I'm looking at right now and got in the back and then you could have made your way to the next area. But since we want a challenge, we are going to wait and we're going to stay into the suit until we can actually get a disguise without having to take someone out. So we're just going to be waiting here, I guess, until the phone rings. So how you guys doing? Doing all right? Good? Great. Awesome. How's the weather? So this is the only thing that sucks about... Uh, some of these games like this is a little bit of patience and a little bit of waiting around. So once he actually picks up the phone, then we're good to go ahead and walk. Alright. So let's make our way over here. And head down the manhole. Hopefully our last manhole. <laughs> Alright, so we got a, a pretty long distance trek here. Uh, the good news is uh, there's no way you're going to get lost because there's only one way to go. So I just make your way towards the end and then uh, the next part is the most trickiest because it, it involves timing and just, you know, looking at guards and seeing which way direction they're going or whatnot. But it's not too difficult for those of you that are Hitman fans or stealth fans in general. Now I did this walkthrough already. I actually did a video of it with commentary and everything except I did it the other way where I actually took out the guard first but I was kind of just unsatisfied because I promised you guys in the very beginning that we were going to do this non-lethally so I had to I had to go back and just be more patient and you know get it done so I did studied a little bit and found a way to uh, to get by uh, the guards and whatnot so hopefully we're going to be able to do it here Again, this is live commentary. All my commentaries are live. Alright, so as you can see, there's a guard there. He will turn around rather quickly. So right now, we're just going to be waiting for him to uh, turn the other direction.
Once he has passed our site, then we're going to be good to go. As you can see, the other guard is looking in that direction. So here is a good tricky part. There's going to be the guard that's coming back that way. And there is this guard that comes back this way. So this part can be a little tricky. So right now, I know, even though you really can't see it on here, it doesn't show enemies, I know that guy is there waiting, so we're just hoping that this guy won't see us. Alright, good. Alright, so once this guy turns around and does his thing, then we can head this way. Good to go. Now we can pretty much walk. Uh, this guy does uh, go inside and come back out rather quickly. So as soon as he uh, gets inside, you can pretty much run. Alright, so go ahead and get behind here. He, he comes out rather quickly. Now, hopefully everything, you know, is timed good and uh, works out for us. Well, usually sometimes I guess he comes out quickly, but this time it looks like he's taking a little bit longer. There he goes. All right, again, so here is the tricky part again. Um, it just depends on where this guard is. All right, he's over there, so I think we're good. There is a guard that comes up here, so if you, you know, if you've got the timing that I do, then you should be okay. Uh, the reason we're even going in here is because we need the disguise, and this is where we get it. Uh, if you want some extra weapons, there is a desert eagle in the desk over there, but since I've already completed the mission, I actually already have it, so. just hear his footsteps right there so that's why you wanted to wait there now it's up to you you can either follow him down this way or you can go the other direction if you go the other direction you can actually get a weapon see you don't want to see that exactly like it's got that whole thing you get too close and whatnot it's kind of a little ridiculous but it's not too bad and like I said, we're in a disguise, so I'm not really worried about that right there. Alright, let's do it. Oh, we have been awarded a bonus save. However, we're not going to use it because we're too good for it. further back that's a little yes yeah, it's a little tricky here there we go. all right so as you can see there are cameras and whatnot so this is exactly uh, probably the main reason why you wouldn't be able to get down into this section without having a disguise so that pretty much takes out completing this mission suit only so we're just going to keep following this guy and there's going to be a little corner that we can get into up here. Alright, so again, and it's, it's really surprising that these guards don't see you when you're here. But we're just going to wait for him to come this way. Alright, get up here. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Alright, looks like we're good. Close. But we made it. 
All right, so that can be done a lot smoother too if you just take a little bit more time. But uh, you know, it's still fun. So I pretty much just head through this door here. Uh, here we got a surveillance room, pretty much. And there's the room that we actually need to go in there to take out the cameras. But uh, there's actually another way around there to get in there. Obviously, you don't want to do it through here. <laughs> And again, you know, it can get really um, kind of, I wouldn't say boring, but just it can get to your nerves the fact that you have to walk so slow. And, you know, when you go in stealth mode that you have to be so slow. But uh, once you enter this area here, you're going to go into the uh, first door on the right. And this is that surveillance room that I was just talking about a second ago. And here are the cameras. So go ahead and equip your 9mm pistol. And make sure you shoot right uh, pretty much where the green was. You only get one shot, so uh, anything else then the guards will start coming. But the good news is we are free to run. Now there's only one guard in this area. He doesn't come over here, so... You can see where he is right there. Uh, he's actually going to go into the room where we're going to be exiting this level through. But right now what we're going to do is... Uh, we can run now since the guard's not looking. We're going to pick this lock and we need to grab another disguise. Yeah, for whatever reason, I guess this is more of a higher ranking uniform. That guy should be pretty much exiting right when we are. And we're going to stay just a little bit ahead of the game and go ahead and grab the mini bomb. And go into the room where he was. And we're going to go ahead and set it up, Norman. And then just hit the Y button on the Xbox or the, the PS3. You can hit the triangle and uh, get that ready. So we know where this guy is. He's all the way up here. So we're pretty much free to run this little area here. There he is. Alright, so um, if your timing has been good, I definitely recommend you waiting here until he turns back around because it's going to make um, the part when you come back through here a little bit easier. So if you're standing in this corner, he won't see you. Give him a good amount of distance and then go ahead and head forward. There is a guard with a, next to a phone there, but if you stick close to the right, then you're fine. And that's where we came down here. So now it's time to go down to the next level where the interrogation is actually happening. All right, go ahead and take this time and equip, let's see, your pager, because this is what we're going to use to distract him. And there's no guards down here, only the general. So uh, this is the easiest part here. And this is where you saw that kind of video where the, the general guy was, even though there's no camera there. <laughs> Who is the man someone hired to kill me? And where is he? Oh, well, you see, such information is usually classified, and I... Получай, мудак американский! You know who he is. Don't mess with me! Er, of course not, sir. Well, you see, it's like this. I... I see you want to fight. Well, we have other means then. I was so much... Это что за херовина? But I... It... Один he... хер. No. Ouch! Now, sit still. If I don't do this right, it... Alright, so that's pretty easy. What if you do it right? <laughs> then it will hurt a lot. Uh, he's still talking even though he's dead. That's that's pretty hilarious. Forty-seven? Is, is that really you? I can't believe it's really you. Likewise, thought I'd seen the last of you back in Romania. You were pretty messed up back then. Yeah, I know. I owe you big time. Let me know if I can help you with anything. You name it. Start by putting your pants on. Okay, okay. Hey, I know how we can get out of here really fast. I stole a key card from a drunk guard. Pretty clever, huh? Not bad. I could use this. Alright, here we go. 
Don't worry about the body. Again, there are no guards down here, but there will be in just a second. guy really doesn't care that there's an alarm going off. He's my best friend. Shit. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> These elevators are just killer. Thank God we're awesome though, huh? We still should be good to go. You keep reading your book there, buddy. Alright, here's the trick part again. Uh, there could be a guard coming around here at any time. There he is. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I guess because he's also disguised as well, so... Alright, I think we're pretty much good to go. Alright, let's get our bomb equipped, and as soon as we let it off, we need to uh, run. Make sure you go to the left, it'll definitely be easier so you won't be spotted. And you're gonna... let's see, do they come out? Yep, right there. So, uh, don't worry about your, your friend behind you. He'll catch right up. Sweet, look at that. 45 gamer points, 5 professional silent assassins. Oh, and we also got uh, normal silent assassins. That's really cool. I'm glad that they actually gave you um, all of the difficulty levels if you complete it on the professional difficulty. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and save here. We already know we got our silent assassin. Uh, great, another uh, 45. <laughs> that's going to come in handy. Never. But uh, 1556, not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next mission. 47, this is Agency Diana speaking. Your assignment is to eliminate Vladimir Zupikov, the fourth general from the arms deal. He has defected to the German embassy and will be requesting asylum in Germany. It is vital for our client that his suitcase is retrieved. It contains a guidance system the general probably will try and peddle to the highest bidder in the West. There is a party tonight at the embassy, and loads of glitterati and socialites, a perfect cover for your assignment. So wear a tux. Unfortunately, we couldn't provide an invitation. And remember, security is ultra-tight, so bringing any sorts of weapons in from the outside is impossible. There's more. The Russians are furious about the prospect of a former general defecting to a NATO country. We have surveillance recordings of a Spetsnaz agent receiving an invitation to this party. Check the video to identify this agent. We also recorded the general arriving at the embassy. See to it that you get that briefcase. It's standard ICA practice. We don't want problems with competitors, 47. I repeat, take out the general and get the suit. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 back at you with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. This is mission number 5, Invitation to a Party. This is a very easy mission, as well as it being short. 
So uh, if you, you know, are not someone who can easily get Silent Assassin, this would definitely be one of the easier missions to do so. So um, like I said, since it's very short, uh, there's only a few things that we need to accomplish during this mission, and it's pretty easy to get in and get out while uh, achieving your Silent Assassin, which is, of course, what we're going through in this walkthrough. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this HD trilogy so far. Uh, since I started off with Hitman 2, obviously we're going to continue on with the third game in the series, which will be Hitman Contacts. And then we'll finish it out with uh, Hitman Blood Money, which I've already actually started, but I decided to go ahead and wait. So don't even worry about running in here. Um, you're, you're pretty much safe. You're good to go. Once you're inside the building, it's, it's whatever you want to do. But the first thing you want to do is you want to get to uh, this room where I'm going as soon as possible because our first target, the general, is uh, going to be in this room right here. So we want to get in here as fast as we can. Go ahead and get your uh, fiber wire, get it ready, and silently take out this guy. Don't worry about the maid. Um, if you're silent, uh, she won't do anything. However, if you go up in there and you're not silent, uh, then, of course, she will uh, alert others. But right now, you're good to go. So right now, we're just waiting uh, to find out uh, where the white guy, or should I say the white dot, is going. Um, since we don't have any non-lethal tools, a.k.a. we don't have any anesthesia or anything like that, right now, we're just kind of waiting around until... Um, him and the Spetsnaz uh, meet up. When they meet up, then we can actually follow them and we can take out the Spetsnaz since he is an enemy faction and uh, we can actually get into the safe without having to hurt, um, you know, the ambassador or whoever you want to call. So uh, the rooms over here that are marked are the safe rooms. So he could go into a, a number of different rooms. I think there's four total. Uh, but right now we're just going to enjoy the party, waiting for him to come back downstairs. Uh, like I said, if you have anesthesia, well then uh, you can obviously just go right to the ambassador right now when he's opening up the safe and then uh, take care of him. Uh, just knock him out and then pretty much, you know, get the contents of the safe. But uh, since we've got none of those tools, uh, we're going to have to do it the, the old-fashioned way. So we're going to listen to a little bit of music here. got some mad skills. So as you can see, there is our Spetsnaz. Uh, he pretty much fits the same description from the video. So um, obviously we're just going to be waiting right now until the ambassador comes. So just pick a spot here. Uh, this is where really the, all the people are. They're only in this one room. Everything else is pretty much empty. So let's go ahead and bring up our map again. Looks like he's heading his way down now. He should be coming into this room. He's going to be waiting for a little bit, and then the Spetsnaz guy will take him hostage, and then we're just pretty much going to follow him. It's random where they're going to go, so that's why you want to either stick close to them or uh, you know check out your map so you know which area that they're going into. And we're just waiting for the magic to happen. Now that wasn't in front of anybody, now was it? <laughs> uh, you're done. Alright, so give, uh, give a good distance so they don't catch it. And knowing my luck, this door is going to shut on me as soon as I get in there. Ah, that's what I thought. Alright, so it looks like they're going upstairs. Which that means that's where we're going as well. Uh, there's no rush right here, so don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I thought he was up. He wears his sunglasses at night. Like I said, don't worry about uh, the, these guys right here. You can run all day. I know it's kind of like contrary to belief where you thought, okay, you can't run during this mission. But in this mission only, I found that you can actually run any way you want. Uh, so they're going to be entering the door over here. As soon as the Spetsnaz enters, go ahead and run past him. Alright. Get into this room here. Equip your fiber wire. And let's take him out. But uh, you definitely want to wait until he opens up the safe. Because then we would still have to take out the ambassador. So. Got him in there. I give you money. You let me go, yeah? All right. We 
you're good to go. Go ahead and get some chocolate because, well, you know, we need some chocolate after killing two guys. Alright, and we are good. We can leave and get the heck out of Dodge, as I always say at the end of my videos. I'm not sure if you can run with this suitcase or not, so I don't want to risk it. And I'm not worried about, you know, getting the lowest time. Now, all that is definitely random as far as where um, the ambassador is going to be. If you do have some anesthesia, well, then you can take out that ambassador super quick. Or if you're just a complete Uranus, well, then you can just kill the ambassador and, and do it that way. So once you get to that point, go ahead and just start running and get the heck out of here. Uh, you should be good where you can just freely walk. Alright, so that's it. Very short mission. And hopefully we've got our Silent Assassin. I actually believe that it's a lot easier to achieve Silent Assassin in this game than it is in some of the other Hitman games. Uh, it's a little bit more lenient because this is on professional difficulty. So, And let's see how we did. Sweet. M4 Rifle, Silent Assassin rating. Alright, 6 minutes and 25 seconds. Awesome stealth. 100%. No alerts. No kills because those were two targets that we needed to kill anyways. The Spetsnaz and the General. So let's check out our overall score. Uh, two shots fired, fired in the whole game. Only one alert. That's because of the sniper mission that we did uh, when you're actually killing someone in front of like five other people. Um... But uh, other than that, we are good to go. we are still got our Silent Assassin rating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next mission. Peace out, bitches! Looks like someone's got friends in Japan with plenty of money and some serious guns. 47, this is Diana from Agency. Nice work at the Embassy. Sorry to disturb your peace in Sicily, but we have another mission for you. These are the details. Our client wants you to eliminate Masahiro Hayamoto, a well-known arms dealer who's got an important missile guidance system. However, we have no details on his secret hiding place, but his son, Masahiro Hayamoto Jr., and Tanaka Kusahana, a top leader of Yakuza, are having a business meeting at a known location. It's a pretty remote location, but still with tight security. Your objective is to plant an electronic tracking device in Hayamoto Jr., then eliminate him so his corpse will be brought to Hayamoto Sr. Check the map, and watch out for the many Yoyimbos guarding the meeting place. 47, I repeat, your objectives are to place a transmitter inside Hayamoto Jr. and then eliminate Hayamoto Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am your host, Sinistrina1, and today we are actually going to be doing some Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I know it's been quite a while since I've had a chance to actually do this, and I want to thank everyone out there for uh, continuing to message me and let me know that, hey, there's a lot of these things I need to finish up. It's 2014, it's a brand new year, and we're going to get right into this. Going to be finishing up a lot of games and kind of going through and just completing things that we've needed to complete. Of course, this is a stealth channel, so all these stealth games that I've had out for quite some time. It's been over 10 months since I've actually played this, but we're going to continue on. This is going to be a silent assassin walkthrough, of course. So our mission objective is to kill Hayamoto Jr., plant a bug on him as well as escape and we're going to show you how to do that in not really the quickest way but uh kind of the way that's probably sub for course you know it's really easy to get through it it's all about timing and about placement of the guards and stuff so let's do it all right so we're not going to need any weapons for this mission we're actually just going to be going there complete the mission and be able to escape so hopefully you guys will enjoy again don't forget to comment rate subscribe for some more awesome hitman gameplay videos and it's go time. You mean I can dodge bullets? Whoa. Forty-seven. Agent. Forty-seven. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. It's time to do this mission number six. Alright, there's about four guards in this area. There's actually one over here you can't see. There's one behind this bush and there's two guards right there. 
Hey guys, what's up? Um, so right now we're just kind of waiting for them to turn around. There's the exfiltration point. We'll get to there very soon. This is uh, definitely a short mission. Once those guys turn around and um, that guy is gone, you can actually see because the door is shut, he went through the door there. So go ahead and move up here. Um, stick over to, to the left side here and you should be fine about any guards seeing you. When you get about to this uh, window right here, you want to start walking again as uh, the peripheral vision of this guy is actually pretty good and you might be able to spot you. So once you get up to here, you can go ahead and open this uh, lock door, close it up, honk the horn so we can get the guard inside's attention. Wait over here by this nicely, conveniently placed trash can. Just big enough to hide Agent 47's body. Alright. This guy shouldn't be wearing sunglasses inside anyway. So once he gets up to that little tire thingy, then you can start walking. Any sooner than that, then he's going to spot you. Alright, just go ahead and start running up to this point here. If timing is done correctly, this guy should be about right here. Wait for him to get past you a little bit. As uh, probably wait till he gets to that little window there. Because we're going to be walking. Stick to the far right because there are a couple of guards in that area right there. Alright, run until you get about over here. Alright, looks like that guard just got there. Uh, sometimes if you back away and then you move forward again. There you go. See, it turns him around and he starts to lead. So give it about, I don't know, 10 seconds. Wait till he gets around the corner. There's actually two guards in this area, and we want to make sure that when we come out of here, the guard that we just saw is not going to see us. Alright, so there's this guy. Alright, you can slowly start to walk. Agent 47 really knows how to walk very, very slowly. Alright, you should be far enough away. Alright, so far so good. Go ahead and change clothes. And it's pretty much easy from the rest of the way until we get about to the end. Alright, stick to the right side as much as possible. As you can see, there's one of those guys right there, and we don't want to get too close to him. Wait till he gets uh, outside. It's because if he turns... <laughs> I like the door just like kind of went through him. Alright, go ahead and cut the flug fish. Slimy. Alright, next part's rather easy. I'm just gonna go in here and we're gonna set up the transmitter as well as poison the fish. Or place the poison fish. Alright, once we have done so, now we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna get inside this room here. We're gonna wait. Uh, this is the part where you're gonna have to be a, a little patient. Uh, right now we're just waiting until that guard that we saw enter that door and comes back through here. I kind of hear the footsteps, so right there he is. So give it a few seconds, um, as you can still be caught in this uniform if you're too close to the guard, so just kind of wait a little bit. No, no rush. Alright. Nice and easy walk out. You don't want to get too close to these guards, because if you are too close to them, they will spot you and they will start shooting at you, so... He is going to make a path to the left, so just be patient. Nothing to see here. Go about your business. Doesn't Agent 47 look great in that, uh, what is it, a kimono, whatever you want to call it? Alright, stick to the right side here. You should be fine. Shit. Ooh, that was close. So just walk normal. I guess that's pretty much if you move too fast, then they're going to catch it. As you can see, we almost, almost got caught there. Right now, we're just waiting until the objective says that it's complete. So you can be really, really patient here. You don't have to rush. So we're just waiting for the objective to be complete. We're kind of just already back where we started. 
Bring back good memories, huh? About five minutes ago. Alright, so the obje objective status has changed, which means that he is actually dead. Now we are waiting for someone to locate and find his dead body. Once that happens, then we can leave. As you can see, we can't leave yet. Which actually kind of causes an alert, and there's nothing that you can really do about the alert, because you're, it's automatically going to be alerted when they find the body. You would think Agent 47 would just be able to leave. Alright, so the gods, there you go, and you're complete. And you have to wait until that point before you can actually leave. So let's see how good we did, and let's see if we made our silent assassin. There we go, ladies and gents. And as you can see, there was one alert, but there was nothing that we could really do about it, since uh, you cannot leave until the guards, I guess, find the body or whatever. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, mission number six complete, silent assassin. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Hitman 2 silent assassin mission. Peace out, bitches. Forty-seven. This is Diana from Agency. We've been monitoring the small tracking device in the late Hayamoto Jr. We managed to track down Hayamoto Sr. thanks to your fine work. We're quite excited since Hayamoto hasn't been registered in public for more than 15 years. He emerged at one of his castles in central Japan. This makes it a very tricky assignment. You must make your way through some very tough security and bypass a lot of electronic surveillance in order to access the castle undetected. You might need to take out the power grids to the alarm units. The whole area is studded with tripwires, guards, substations, alarm units, guard towers, etc. Strategic planning is extremely important. All their systems are on high alert, so consider your moves in there. Your equipment is hidden in a truck just outside the entry gates. When you get the equipment, we'll brief you on the position of alarm units as well as guard movements. 47, I repeat, find the truck with equipment, wait for our briefing, get to the castle undetected, and take out the castle alarm before entering. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrana1, and today we are bringing you more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. This is mission number seven. Uh, this is actually quite a fun mission to do. Hopefully you guys... Uh, will enjoy. We're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, there's actually kind of a little bit of glitches in this mission, but it's not too bad. We're going to show you how to do it without taking anyone out. We don't need any weapons. We don't need anything. And we're going to hopefully be able to complete Silent Assassin. So remember, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, especially if you want to see more Hitman uh, 2 Silent Assassin as well as all the other Hitman games. And it's go time. All right, so the first thing you want to actually do, uh, it's actually quite tricky to get by this sniper that's perched up. You can't really see him from here. But as soon as you start out, immediately run forward, then turn to the left. I like to do a little zigzag pattern here. As long as uh, you don't have a straight kind of shot to the actual sniper, there's two sniper posts in the beginning here. It's very easy uh, to get caught by the sniper. Um, but I just showed you pretty much how not to get caught every single time it'll work. We've got a few minutes here, but we have to, have to wait, so I'll explain it a little bit more. But as soon as the actual, as soon as it starts, move forward directly, start running, and then immediately move to the left. What that does is it buys an extra two seconds for that truck to be stuck where it's at, and that truck provides cover between the sniper and you, and you're able to zigzag through the trees so that you're not actually able to get caught. So as soon as he turns around, go ahead and start moving here. You want to try to time it perfectly because you need to be as close as you can with him. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and pick up this crossbow and night vision. You don't really need it, but for those of you that want to complete uh, kind of more of everything and pick up the different weapons that the game has, well then you can do this. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, so as I said, we're going to get as close to him as we can. Now remember, we're moving really slow, but we're just a little bit faster than he is, so eventually we're going to be able to catch up to him. As long as you stay on his right side, then there's actually no worries, no problems whatsoever as far as him being able to see you. As soon as he gets past to this little pillar, he's going to turn to the left. Now what you want to do is you want to stay as close to him as possible. Um, but also start moving diagonally to the right because he's going to do a little bit of a turnaround and it's possible that sometimes he might be able to see you as he does it right there. Sometimes he's able to see you. 
So also, just make sure that you uh, don't start running just yet. Wait till he gets about to this black spot, then you can actually start running as he will turn around sometimes if you run a little too quickly. Now this next part here is uh, definitely a lot trickier to do, but sometimes the guard will come through the door, but if you're actually able to do it in the amount of time that I did, you're able to make sure that the guard doesn't come through the door. So as soon as you get down these steps, that door is going to open. Get over here without running and shut the door. If you do that correctly, the guard will not be alarmed, he will not be alerted, and he will no longer come into the room. Which this means that uh, it can take a lot longer if the guard has to go through the room, and then we don't want to take longer. We want it to be sh as short as possible while getting through it nice and stealthy. So uh, if you do it the way I did it every single time, he'll go to the right. So just kind of wait here a little bit for him to go into this room in here to the right. Now, uh, there's definitely this is one of the more difficult missions I have come across uh, as playing uh, the Hitman games. Um, not because it's really difficult, just because, you know, iffy AI and, and whatnot. So hopefully, um, as you will see here, that you're going to be able to have the same results and uh, be able to complete this silent assassin. So as soon as you get over here, you want to get against this pillar. There's going to be some guards coming in this direction. There's actually three guards. Two of them walk together, and one of them is walking in the opposite direction. Now, the two that are walking away from you, you really don't have to worry about them too much throughout this whole thing. You really only have to worry about this guy that's coming back. Now, he's going to quickly turn around right at the point he's at right now, so make sure you don't go any further than right here. And as you can see, um, he stops at that point right there, so you really got to be careful. Uh, from this point on, it's just a matter of going straight. Do not run too much. Uh, the reason being is he does like this zigzag pattern and he will, uh, or he will be able to kind of hear your footsteps if you're too close. And so you want to just kind of stay a little bit away from him. Also, uh, one thing to note is that the trucks do have the ability to run you over even at like zero miles an hour. They're going so slow. But if uh, a truck comes anywhere near you when you're on this level, unless it's completely stopped, you will be run over and of course you will die. We don't want that now, do we? So uh, continue to move along this way. This is kind of like automatic. Trucks are going to be going in and out throughout the whole thing. So you just got to know when to kind of time your movements and whatnot. So as soon as you see him there for the last time, what you're going to do is you're going to get up against uh, this corner up here right where he turned around and uh, stop right here. As you can see, we just barely saw that those two guards are heading back in this direction. But where we're standing, you actually you should be fine from right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys that you can actually find out where the guards are with the crossbow. Uh, and see as it lights up in red. So that's a little handy tool. Even though you can't see where the guards are, you'll at least know which position they're in uh, by using the crossbow aiming. So it's, it's really cool. I actually like that. So as soon as um, they go back, they're going to go back and do that same route again, which gives you enough time to move completely straight forward. And uh, from this point, you can pretty much run. Uh, you've got a little bit of time before you get up to the next part. Um, however, if there's already, like in this instance, there's a truck that we saw just up ahead, remember that they just repeat the process over and over again. So get up here close enough to where um, the guards are, but we don't want to move too far ahead. So as soon as you see... Uh, also, make sure you stay against the pillars as you can be run over, like I said. Now, we can see the guard there. Of course, if we point at him, it actually shows where he is. So uh, go up about one more and then you should be fine. Right now, we're just going to be a little patient and wait for this next truck to come on by. So this, depending on how fast you've been doing, and if you've been doing it the way that I have, which you should be since you're actually watching this walkthrough, that uh, you shouldn't have to wait too, too long for this truck to come by. And of course, there it is. So as soon as it passes you, keep moving with it. Uh, the truck will mask the, your movements, your sound, and everything, so uh, they won't be able to see you. I'm going to lay out here exactly how many guards there are in this area. So you're going to be able to find out how many you have to worry about. So there's one there, there's another one we just passed right there, and there's that guy right there. Uh, there could possibly be more, but of course I'm not going to uh, go out in front and look. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wait. And as soon as this uh, truck goes, run, but stop. Make sure you don't run. Uh, when you get to the next one, start walking as the guards will be able to hear your footsteps and you will be caught. All right, so this next part is we can start running after a little bit. Uh, you can sometimes catch the truck, but I recommend not catching the truck up ahead. The reason being is it could glitch out on you. It happened to me one time. I was actually doing this walkthrough a few minutes ago, had it all the way up to this point, and the truck... Uh, stopped. I made it into the truck. However, the truck didn't move from that point. So I recommend just waiting on the next truck. Um, that way you know it's for sure. There's no reason to move any forward as all we are doing is waiting for the next truck. And we're going to repeat the same process. Now you're going to notice up ahead, 
that a guard is going to slightly see you and there's going to be um, a little bit of an alert but not really an alert and you'll you'll notice in the end that it's actually not an alert but um, there's nothing that you can really do about it if you go and do it this way um, a guard is going to glance you even though i think in real life if agent 47 the man the myth the legend i love how that truck like runs over the freaking curb but um he would easily be able to hide behind some of these boxes however you cannot hide behind the boxes you can only hide with the boxes so in doing so uh, you can also use the map that way you know for sure um, where you're at if you're on any other difficulty level you would see the enemies but uh, that shows you right there that we're on professional um, so you're going to see that there's going to be a, a guard that you're going to see right up here and this happens every single time so there's nothing you're going to really be able to do about it he's going to spot you just a little bit it's tiny but there will be a little bit of an alarm kind of a nearby guards alarmed or whatever which is just that one guard he doesn't come after you you're already past the point so it doesn't really matter and you're still good to go so don't be alarmed thinking you're not doing the silent assassin approach like i said if we could hide behind the boxes a little bit better then you would notice that um we really i mean nothing really happened so right now there's about five or six guards surrounding you uh none of them actually go into the truck so you're fine just wait it out um if you remember correctly, there was trucks in the very, very beginning when we got into the underground tunnel. Whatever you do, don't get into one of the trucks in the beginning. If you do, that's one of the ones that the trucks that they actually search and you will be caught. So pretty much get out and you're done with the mission complete. And we're going to find out how well we did and our score as well. And we got a little crossbow with it too. Let's go ahead and save. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, there were no alerts. We had a close encounter, but there was no alerts. So we're still good. Stealth's up. Silent Assassin, 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying my Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough, or should I say the HD trilogy. Overall, we're doing pretty well. We've only had... Uh, Two alerts, uh, Close Encounters 1, but everything has been Silent Assassin so far on the professional difficulty. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches! 47, this is Diana from Agency. We've been monitoring the small tracking device in the late Hayamoto Jr. We managed to track down Hayamoto Sr. thanks to your fine work. We're quite excited since Hayamoto hasn't been registered in public for more than 15 years. He emerged at one of his castles in central Japan. This makes it a very tricky assignment. You must make your way through some very tough security and bypass a lot of electronic surveillance in order to access the castle undetected. You might need to take out the power grids to the alarm units. The whole area is studded with tripwires, guards, substations, alarm units, guard towers, etc. Strategic planning is extremely important. All their systems are on high alert, so consider your moves in there. Your equipment is hidden in a truck just outside the entry gates. When you get the equipment, we'll brief you on the position of alarm units as well as guard movements. 47, I repeat, find the truck with equipment, wait for our briefing, get to the castle undetected, and take out the castle alarm before entering. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrino One. Welcome back to more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. Of course, this is mission number eight at the gates. A fairly easy mission. However, we're gonna have to. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit tricky to get by this in the, a certain way. So I'm gonna try to guide you step by step on how I like to do it. So as soon as we're gonna start out here, we're gonna just run straight forward. Um, it's a good thing we have the crossbow because we're gonna have to take out one of these soldiers. So get a nice, good headshot. Uh, it is a long distance target, so try to aim a little bit above the head and to the right because of the wind and then you should be able to get that headshot on the first time now we're gonna be rushing through here because uh, the pattern that I got figured out pretty much just means you get to go straight through and if you do it the right timing correctly then you're gonna you're not have to worry about all the guards that are down actually to the left uh, but it's fairly simple to do as long as you get the timing down uh, and stuff like that so we're gonna ha unfortunately have to take his uh, uniform that's pretty much the only way you're gonna be able to get by this stuff unless you want to kill pretty much like every guard and we don't want to do that so go ahead and take his uniform and just keep going if you see this guard on the left here that means you're making good progress if you do not see that guard on the left then 
uh, the timing is going to be off. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is there's two guards down on the bottom right below me and they're going to intersect. They're pretty much going to take each other's spots and go the opposite directions. So the only way you're going to be able to get by these guards without them wanting to come and check your ID is if you go at that exact point right there in between these trees and uh, it's going to like kind of mask where you are because if anyone sees you, automatically they check for your ID and that usually means it's pretty much... Uh, game over from that point. 47, we have the position on the central alarm grid. Check out your map. Be careful. All right, so this is a long trek. We're going to make it our way over to this uh, one of the security things that we have to take down. Now, uh, this guard can be uh, pretty funny to kind of watch. He, I think, has probably, he's the best AI guard I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how many times I, I tried to figure a way uh, to not take him out. Um, I pretty much figured a way, so I'm not going to actually take them out, I'm not going to mess with them whatsoever, but the first thing you want to do is you want to wait right here, because if you get any closer than this point, he will see you, and he'll come running and try to check your ID. But if you just run, make sure that this uh, little kind of fence is in between you when he turns around. It actually stops what he's planning on doing, and he turns back around and he starts his patrol route on the other side. So you get to shave off a few seconds of time so he doesn't have to go all the way down and then all the way back up. So really, you just want to follow him as close as you can. Uh, there's no point in getting too close, but you want to be close enough to where when he is about ready to turn around, you can make the corner to the left. Uh, he'll do one last look to the left, and then he'll pretty much turn around. Now here, as soon as you open the door, just start running. Uh, the fence masks your movement. However, there's at least one more unit as far as we can see from the satellite link. Check out your map before going any further, 47. Now what can screw it up is if you do not get back in time for that door. If the door shuts on you before you can get out, then he will see you. But the door to the fence actually, he cannot see you for some reason through the fence. It's just the way the game is programmed, I guess. But it's a little bit of an exploit, but it's um, an easy one to get by. Now, we can also go back around the guard the other way. However, it is very tricky to do, and it might take you hundreds of times before you can actually get the right timing. So I prefer to go this way, because then I can show you guys uh, some extra cool stuff. And you'll notice that there was a guard walking towards the direction of where we were. So we're not going to go that way just yet. I wanted to show you that if you, say, wanted to go this way, that it's pretty much not going to happen. There's about six guards up here patrolling, and um, if you go through the walkway down below, they're automatically going to start shooting at you. So we've diverted enough attention, waited for that guard, so we should be clear. That means we can just start running. I usually like to do it so I don't have to walk too slow, but he's already heading in the other direction, which means we're good to go. Just stick as close to the wall as possible, and he should never see you. Now, there's another room that you can enter up here. Uh, it'll take you to where you want to go. However, I find that there's kind of a little bit of a glitch. There's no guards around. However, um, when you get to the rooftop, it automatically says there's a, a guard sees you and it's an alert. So I don't recommend going that way. I just recommend going this way um, as it'll prove to be a little bit easier. But it might take a few seconds longer. As you can see, there's a couple of guards down there, so try to time your movements. Make sure none of them are looking in your direction. Only run when you feel it is absolutely necessary, especially when you get around the corner. Um, it can be a little difficult, as you can see this guard here almost turned around to walk back the other way. So take it slow, and then um, as soon as you get down to this little point here, the, you, you do run the risk of being caught, so it is a definitely watch out and make sure there are no guards looking exactly in your direction. But uh, sometimes you'll get the little meter pop up, and uh, you never know what'll happen. See, it kind of popped up a little bit, but we made it. As soon as you get around this corner, go ahead and get down because you're going to see you'll hear the door, so that's a nice cue. But there's going to be a guard moving to the left. You want the guard moving to the left. He just passed. Uh, if he's moving to the right, then you're going to have to wait even longer. But if you've timed everything the way that I have, then you should never have to wait. Everything is kind of perfectly timed. Uh, so that the guards are in the right position where I want them. So here, do not run. I repeat, do not run. If you run, this guard will that's up ahead will actually turn around. He's facing a window right now, but he'll turn around and he'll look in your direction. And if he does that, it makes it impossible to get through um, this door without the guard trying to come and check your ID. Now, you can still get through it without uh, him actually kind of messing with you if you go through the door fast enough, but we want to do this without any guard seeing us period. So that's the kind of the best way that I figured out to do this. Don't worry about the sniper up here. The reason is because we are in a disguise, so you're kind of covered pretty much on that front. However, we do have a crossbow in our hand, which is pretty funny. I'll go ahead and get this. Well done, 47. You just need to take out one more unit for safe passage to the castle. 
However, we don't know where it's hidden. It's not marked on any map and not detected by satellite. You're on your own on this one, 47. Take care. Now you'll see the door just open, so um, I didn't know when he was going to come out, so it's very tricky to time it. But um, just sit back there and wait because that guard that was downstairs, the one that moved right to left, he will be coming through that door. So definitely wait. Uh, you don't want to ruin it this late in the game because you're so close to being done and that would have pretty much made you have to restart. Remember on Professional, there are no saves. So this is always going to be a complete first time go run through of the level. Like not a first time go, but just going straight through it. Here you want to wait till you get about to this little whatever you want to call it thing right there and then uh, start running. Make sure you stick to the left side as the, there are guards in these rooms and they uh, will be able to hear you sometimes. So, And that's pretty much it. All we got is one more guard to worry about. Now if you've timed everything correctly you can actually walk out right now and just start walking to the left. However, I don't want to just walk. I want to be able to run. So I'm going to wait just a little bit longer until I actually see the guard that's kind of patrolling this area. He's, there he is right there. So as soon as you see him, that means you can actually start running without the fear of him turning around and catching you. And this is actually where uh, I showed you that little door when you're running around the building. This is where you would actually be. But um, when we go through it this way, nobody catches us and we're good to go. All right. So let's see how we did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Silent Assassin. Professional difficulty, 7 minutes, 15 seconds. Yes, we did have to kill someone. That's because I don't have any of the anesthetics left, so I can't not knock out anyone, and of course he can't use his arms. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. 47, Diana here. I see you managed to infiltrate the castle. Good work. This castle, Katsuyamajo, is the headquarters of Masahiro Hayamoto. Your objective is to track down Hayamoto and eliminate him, as well as get away safely with the missile guidance system in his possession. Although this squeaky old fortress may look obsolete, make no mistake, it's equipped with all the latest electronic security measures. On top of that, the place is crawling with ordinary security guards at lower levels and Hayamoto's own hand-picked Yoimbos at the top. Approach this assignment with the utmost caution, 47. These people are ruthless, fanatical, and extremely clever. I repeat, 47. Evade guards and security measures. Eliminate Hayamoto and secure the missile guidance system before escaping. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrain01, and we have got more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough mission number 9, I believe. Uh, this is quite a difficult mission to do there's actually a bunch of different ways that you can go about completing this and I am going to show you at least two different ways that you're going to be able to do this so hopefully you will enjoy All right, so here we go, ladies and gents. Shogun Showdown. Thick walls and loads of protection. Even the strongest chain has a weak point, and I'll find this one. But I better consider each step I take in this squeaky old castle. Okay, so it's always I always find it kind of funny how when we end one mission, but yet we start the next mission with different clothes on. But that's the way it is. So this first guy is a guy you pretty much got to take down. Um, again, we don't have any aesthetics or anything like that, so we're actually going to use our trusty crossbow because <laughs> it's fun. Why not? But we need to take this guy's uniform. Once we take his disguise, this mission becomes so much easier, and it's not really hard to do, just depending on what you want to do. So go ahead and go for a headshot here. Make sure you don't actually run on the wood. Run in like the beams, the middle where I was running, because if you run on the wood, you'll make noise, and there are guards to the right right there, as you can see. So I'm going to be running down here. Uh, this is what you're going to want to do. I'm going to show you two different methods that you can actually complete this level. Uh, the first one here is to grab this key card. Um, however, we're going to keep going because we're going to go for the bomb. Uh, there's a bomb down on this level so we can actually set up to where 
uh, we can have this guy kind of just explode on us. We don't have to worry about him too much. This guy you got to worry about a little bit, move a little bit slower. As you can see, there's a ninja on top there, so you got to worry about him just a little bit as well. Uh, there's another ninja up here on the right, so if you just keep running, you should be fine. I know it gets a little bit red, but if you just keep going, you're good to go. Go ahead and enter this first room on the left here, and don't forget to deactivate the lasers every time you come close to these as uh, you will set off alarms and then security will be even tighter. So grab the bomb and the remote detonator and uh, do this again here. We're going to pretty much go back to where we were in the beginning where we killed the guy and then we're going to move on and go upstairs. Now once we head upstairs, that's where the two different things that we can do, okay? There's actually a secret way that we can get into where um, the guy's office kind of is at the very, very top floor. We can kill him that way. Uh, however, it takes a little bit, not really longer to do, but it's definitely a little bit harder to do, and there's certain parameters that you have to do in order to gain access to that level. So here we are back in this section. Don't worry about the guards uh, really discovering who you are. You can just freely keep running if you're wanting to get a little bit more of a speeder time and stuff like that, so you can keep going. Right now, we're actually heading down into the room where we saw in the video that was played just previously, which... Uh, we're going to get the, the recorder, whatever it's called. But go ahead and grab this uh, weapon right here. As, of course, you want to add some more weapons to your uh, arsenal. It's the guidance system. And go ahead and set the bomb here as well, because he's going to be coming back through here later. Now, this is just one method to kill him. There's there's two methods, and I'll show you um, exactly how both work once, once we get up there. They're pretty much in the same area, so it's not too bad. Just going to retrace our steps. The best way to really know this map is to either watch my video over and over again or just learn the route. Um, once you learn the route, it's very easy. You can get lost if you go in the wrong place. Now, inside here, there is a katana. And this is one way to kill him if you wanted to do that. But we're going to go ahead and grab the katana. That way we can add it to our collection as well. And you can see there's a ninja up here on the top left. It's pretty funny. This is like the perfect disguise around this whole place. As long as you're not like running directly at someone, you're going to be fine. Now once you go up here, right there is where the room that we're actually going to uh, uh, talk to this girl. Mr. Reaper? You here? I'm so glad to see you again. You are my number one. Good memory, but don't ever call me Reaper again. It's not my name anymore. Still living a lousy life, I see. I save you from Lee Hung and his triad outfit in Hong Kong. And first thing after that mess, you're in with another hotshot crime lord. Well, I don't mind. The hours are short and the pay's good. But he's just an old rich bastard and I'm bored now. I always like you the best. Can you help me escape? I can do plenty stuff for you. You know, Hayamoto scared of you. Talks about you in his sleep have to disappoint you, but you're no good to me. But I can help you. You need this keycard to access secret top floor. In return, you take me with you, okay? I'll think about it. You go now. I wait here for you. Hit him once from me. Okay, so now we actually have access to the top floor. So this is another method that you could do. You could go up there and you can kill him. However, there are a lot of guards up there and there's an escape um, route that you can take on the roof. It is a lot harder to do than what I'm going to do, so definitely if that's the route you want to take, by all means, go and do it. What we're going to do is we're going to set off an alarm here. We're going to get everybody route up so we can actually get him from that place. Now, remember, we actually have access to go into there, but that's not the method we're going to do. I'd rather show you this method as it really doesn't get us caught at all. We don't have to go through a crap load of guards. So this guard can be a little confusing sometimes, so you just walk up to him and go right by him. If you stay any too long. If you stop at all, you will be caught. Now, luckily, he does not turn around or anything. Go ahead and set the security button, kind of like the panic button. So now, security is going to be tightened, and uh, the guy is going to be like running around, going back down to his guidance system. So you just got to kind of constantly move. Don't stop anywhere. If you stop, then you will get caught by these guys. So just keep moving. Now, when you go down here, make sure you go to the right because there's a bunch of guards that are coming up that way. And of course, we don't want to run into them. We want to kind of be a little bit away from them. So now we're just going to head pretty much to where we started the mission. So it's not too far from here. Don't worry about any of these guys. We're already back in the beginning. And now we're going to pretty much be playing the wait game. Make sure you stay against the this little part here. As you can see, I kind of stepped on the wood a little bit. And you don't want to make any noise because guards will come into the area and then automatically detect you. 
you can grab your outfit if you want to grab it again, but I kind of like this little security outfit anyways. So go back down to where we started, and now it is time for the waiting game. That's our exfiltration point right there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and equip the uh, remote bomb detonator. And then uh, open up your map. And you get the chance to see where everything is that you need. Now he is going to be making his way from the very, very top. Because if you remember, he was at the very top and he was going to be coming down. So we need to go all the way to the museum, which is like on the bottom, bottom floor. You can see where he is. He's the only enemy that shows up, so um, you just got to follow him by floor by floor. It's a very easy thing to do. It's a little time consuming. If you wanted to cut off, say, like a minute or two, um, remember that I showed you a different route. That we went and talked to that girl, which we didn't need to. So we could have cut off two minutes right there by just following this the bomb route. But what that does is you get two opportunities to add a save. Now, remember, when you're playing on professional difficulty, you don't get a save. So any chance you get to actually add saves could very well help you out in, say, some of the harder missions. Um, but, of course, we're not going to use them. But at least we get two of them. If you just follow the bomb route and you took the guidance system, you're only going to get one save. But if you go up, you talk to the female from the previous game, then you're going to be able to actually get two saves. So I definitely recommend doing that. Even though it takes a little bit more time, at least you get more options to be more of a badass and not, you know, because some of the later levels can be hard, so it, it definitely helps out. Now see, this takes a long time, but you see the route that he's kind of following. So if you wanted to, say, perhaps drop a bomb somewhere, like on the stairs or something like that, you could probably do that. However, that's not something that I wanted to do because I was afraid it would be collateral damage. Maybe there's people following him. When he actually goes down into the museum floor, he's the only one that goes to where that is. So to me, that's like the best spot to get him because he goes into that direction. But if you want to, you know, try other things out, maybe see if you can kill him earlier um, with the with the bomb or whatever you want to do. I mean, it's it's strictly up to you. There's so many different methods you can do, and I'm only showing you really two of them. But I find these to be the easiest ones to do uh, to achieve the rank of Silent Assassin. So he is almost there, and uh, you know we've been through all this whole area. So everywhere he goes, we already know where it is because I familiar familiarize myself with the map. And there is actually where the bomb is right there. So give it a little bit. As soon as he gets close enough, then you can go ahead and remote the or detonate the bomb, and then you are done. Lick it, split, bam, yes. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We have a, achieved a bonus weapon. All right. Silent Assassin. Um, yeah. Professional. Eight minutes, 39 seconds. We probably could have cut that down around five something if we, uh, you know, didn't show you the secondary way that you could go and complete the mission. But um, I enjoyed this mission a lot. Didn't take me too long to figure out the routes and to really do everything. So it was a pretty short mission uh, for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more awesome Hitman 2 Silent Assassin videos. Going to finish up the series. Um, just going to keep playing. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, bitches. <sighs> Meow. 47, this is Agency Diana here. So far, no news on Father Vittorio, but we've got a neat little mission for you in Malaysia. In Kuala Lumpur, you will find the headquarters of a very talented hacker and kleptology expert, Charlie Sijan. He has managed to steal an extremely valuable piece of software. It works as a key signature in military software and was until recently the exclusive property of the US government. With this nifty piece of software in the hands of an adversary, any incoming missile would be detected as American, which renders an otherwise clever missile shield worthless. Our client wants to retrieve this piece of code and exterminate Charlie Sijan and all records of this code. He's running his business under cover of a company called Kari Juarez Incorporated Computer Systems. Their network is completely sealed off and inaccessible. Your objective is to assassinate Charlie Sijan and place a small dongle on the main server of Carniwara's incorporated computer system. This device will allow outside access to the systems. There are guards with intercoms everywhere, closed-circuit surveillance of all areas and elevators, metal detectors and reinforced steel doors with electronic locks. Your target is in the second basement. Continue from there with the direct elevator to Kani Juarez's main office.
you will have to shut down some of the surveillance systems by the elevator. The only visual identification we've got is this footage of Charlie. It's from his sixth birthday. From what we know, you should be able to recognize him from this. Get your equipment in locker number 137. Find Charlie Sijan in the basement area. Kill him and access Kaniwares by the direct elevator. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistra 1 and we are back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin Mission Number 10. Of course, this is going to be a Silent Assassin walkthrough. Hopefully, we're going to be going through this. Uh, this is a fairly quick mission, so it shouldn't take us too long. Uh, another mission where there's actually a couple of different ways you can do it, but uh, the one I'm going to do is pretty much the most fun I think you can really have, and it's just kind of cool. So I, I really like this mission, and I hope you guys will too. Let's do it. All right, so we don't really need any weapons. Um, they did say that all of our stuff will be with us uh, when we get to the whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're we're just gonna pretty much take maybe let's see, got some pistols. We'll take the twenty-two. All right, so it's it's got a built-in silencer, so why not? All right, I think we're ready to do this. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy, and it's go time. Basement killing. Hmm. Quite impressive. No time to enjoy the view. My work is underground. Alright, ladies and gents, here we go. First things up, we're going to head to the right. Don't worry about guards in this area, really. Um, if you're fast enough, you can actually get through without alerting anybody, so... Go ahead and get here, get your stuff. Really, we just need the pistol, ammo, some smoke bombs, and of course your pistol. Uh, the only reason you need a pistol on this one is because you got to shoot the computer. And then go ahead and head pretty much right across. Don't stop for anything, just keep going and, and go. So sorry. If you're fast enough, then no one's going to be alarmed, alerted, or anything like that. Alright, make sure you go to the left side here as there are. Uh, Metal detectors on the right side. Since we do have a weapon, we don't want to give ourselves away, of course. Now, you can uh, steal a pizza delivery guy's disguise and get in that way through that door, or we can do the firefighter route, which that's the kind of route that we're going to do. So you got to wait for about five guards. There's the fifth one. Uh, don't be alarmed whenever this happens right here. As you can see, the moment you pick up the disguise, it automatically turns, uh, what do you call it? It gets red and stuff, but there's nothing you can really do about that. Alright, make your way to the left here. Don't, don't worry about the metal detectors. You're a firefighter. You just keep going. You're on a mission. Keep going straight. Pick up your trusty, your trusty axe. Alright, right inside is Charlie. You can see he kind of lit up red a little bit. There is potato chips on the ground, so you definitely want to watch where you walk. We're gonna sneak up on him nice and quiet, like a little rabbit. No, 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 no. What, what do you want now? Money? Agency, this is 47. I've got first objective down, but something weird here. I'm pretty sure he's got a twin brother. 47, this is Diana. Let me run that through the database. Keep on track with your mission and I'll get back to you as soon as I check this out. I'm watching him on a monitor now. Is there another apartment in the complex? It looks as if he's in one of the buildings. 
Please check if Connie Juarez has another address here. All right, and that's pretty much it for that. So it's cool stuff. So all we got to do is pretty much escape. Guy loves his potato chips, huh? No, no, we want to keep the fire axe. It really doesn't matter. And there you go. And let's see if we get our silent assassin. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. So uh, you can complete this mission rather quickly. Um, again, just be really fast when you go through the areas where you're not really supposed to be. But if you're if you're fast enough, then you really don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So again, mission accomplished. Of course, we had to fire one shot because of taking out the security. And uh, yeah, so not a very long mission, obviously. Kind of a nice break. Uh, the way that I've been doing the mission so far is I've been going through them. I've been trying to find the best ways that I could uh, complete the tasks at hand. I, I want to get a good time, but at the same time, I still want to make sure that it's um, a good walkthrough and something that's very explanative that lets you know this is why you want to do it this way. And then if there's other ways, uh, kind of hint at those other ways. That way you have the freedom of choice to play it the way that you want to. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches! 47, this is Diana again. We checked up on your last information. It seems you're right. But first, let's stick to the assignment. You must place the dongle on the master server, situated in a locked and air-conditioned room. That way our client will be able to access the system and retrieve the encoded information. The only way to access the room is by use of the system administrator's key card. On this floor, there are guards patrolling at regular intervals. Some staff will be working late, hopefully also the system administrator. Check out the map for an outline of this floor. Happy hacking, 47. All right, so here we go, mission number 11. Let's do this, it's go time. Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. Sinister 01 is your host. I'm going to guide you through this level. We've got the world's dumbest guard right here. Really cool kind of guy. My favorite. You can get by him like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Look at that Agent 47. That's a stealthy bastard. Alright, first thing you want to do is pretty much go into here. I'm going to grab this key card. And we're going to head back the exact same way we just were. However, we're going to slow our roll a little bit and wait for that guard to get around the corner. Once he's around, we're good to go. Head over here and go ahead and look through the keyhole. We're going to wait just a few seconds, not too long. There's going to be a guard coming around here in just a second. I like how he gets to wear khakis, huh? That's not fair. I want to wear khakis to work. Our uniforms always have pants. We never get to wear shorts. Alright, so we're just waiting for this guy. I love how the, like, um, the door shuts on him. <laughs> it goes right through him. It's a cool guy right there. He's got magical powers. Alright, we are back in the beginning. Right there is the elevator. We're going to head over to the exact opposite side. Go through the door. Keep going. If you've timed everything correctly, there will be no guards worry about whatsoever. Alright, get out your weapon. Fire! Uh, I think we missed. Shoot the actual server. There we go. <laughs> I shot a little bit below, I guess. So, what we're doing right now is just waiting on the admin guy, the system administrator. He's going to be coming this way. And he's going to be checking out the server, find out what's wrong. And we can actually get into there and hack the device because of it. So we're just waiting patiently.
Alright, there he is. Again, if you have been doing everything within the, the time limits that I have given you, then you don't have to worry about coming out of here walking so slowly with any guards or anything. I could take you out right now. See this right here? See this? I could kill you. Oh, I could kill you so bad. You're lucky. I'm gonna let you live. He's a fellow geek. I gotta let him live. Come on. I can't be that kind of guy. Agent 47 is not that cruel. Even though we did just kill the guy that was on the computer in the last level, but hey. Ah, oh, there you go. That's my kind of guy right there. Pick that ass. Pick that wedgie out. Alright, so that means you see that's your cue for like maybe two more times. And then he's just gonna give up. Alright, he's like, I don't know. I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't care. I like how he doesn't even go through the door. Alright, let's hack this 1998 IBM Windows 98 Seven. computer. This is Clea speaking. Diana's not here right now, but I see the device is working properly. Now, we must access the Skybridge to reach the other tower for a completion of this mission. Alright, if you've done everything uh, within the time period, then that guard should be a little bit ahead so you don't have to worry about him as much. Walk nice and slow. Hide behind this bush because it covers you up real, real nice. You can actually get into that little box right there and you got some night vision goggles and whatnot, but... Alright, so here in a few minutes there's going to be a guard coming through here. You can just wait here patiently. There's not going to be anybody that's going to be able to see you. Sometimes there is a computer tech guy in here as well. There's so many footsteps going on around me. It's <laughs> I don't know which direction they're coming from. There he is. Took you long enough. Wow, your twin. I just saw your twin earlier, man. <laughs> They're all the same character. Alright, as soon as he's out of vision. Make sure you get down, though. Oh, gotta fit through the door. Couldn't get down for good measure, just in case. All right, we are almost done, ladies and gents. Wait for this tech guy here. Uh-oh, he might be coming my way. Okay. Okay, and we're good to go. Uh, from here, it's pretty much um, just running and doing what you got to do. Just kind of waiting to see where these guys are. Alright, so it's best to wait until these guys are in a different location. You want them further away, actually. So you might be here a few minutes, depending on how long they take. good thing is you don't have to worry about any guards from this point right here. So you got one guy there, one guy over there. Once he heads over in this direction, then uh, you can pretty much start moving. Don't worry, even if uh, it's possible that they might fire on me, they might do this, they might do that. But right now our mission is to escape, and there's two guards here, so other than that, you really don't have to worry about anything. You can still get your silent assassin. Okay, here we go. There's only one way that you can get around this little section here, so you gotta follow this route. Yeah. 
and that's it. Hey boss, here it comes. This stuff is pouring in. Ha! I knew I could break into this piss ant system. Uh, looks like the software code's already been passed on. Say what? Where? To whom? Hang on. Tracking. It looks like a server in India. Pizdish. Or India. Yeah, it says so right here. Mudak! Not by a chance a server in Punjab. Or yeah. Smack dab right in the middle of Punjab. Chuck! Coned by my own customer! They let me find it, then nigga ran down to my nose! Lousy smasaki son of a him and the chicken shit bitch! Boy, that guy's got some language on him. Alright, let's find out how he did. Nice. Silent assassin. Fired three shots. I wish I didn't fire three shots, but I guess I was a complete douche. Um, because I missed the server thing. Hey, right, I fired three shots? Okay, yeah, I did. One was on the window, and then two was in the server. I don't know why it says aggression, but I get we had to pretty much shoot the, uh, the window to get out. But either way, that was perfect. Uh, pretty much full stealth. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Plenty more uh, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough coming up in the near future. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bitches! The jacuzzi job. Let's get it on. Ah. 47 Diana here. An insider has informed us that your bonus target is indeed a twin playboy with a passion for cheap women and expensive art. He's got plenty of both, including an extremely rare and valuable 16th century statue. So security is tight. I'm just outside the penthouse now, looking in. It looks like there is a twin. Could we proceed as requested? Those are the orders. Are you absolutely sure that this is Charlie's twin? Yes, definitely looks like him. Although he behaves differently. All right, our client would prefer it if you could make this look like a simple burglary gone bad. So kill him, steal some valuables, and escape by the elevator. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrino One, and we have more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. Let's do it. Should have a guard coming right through here. This is a very quick, easy mission to do, so hopefully you're going to have the same outcome as, uh, as myself. We're going to wait here just for a quick second. This guard's going to go through. You want to be fast when you come down here. All right, if you've done it correctly, he shouldn't have been able to see you. All right, we're going to go ahead and equip our fiber wire. All right, make sure uh, you're pretty much still as these these girls pack a punch, I'm telling you. They're all equipped with uh, semi-automatics, so you might want to wait off. <laughs> all right. Now, you don't have much time to complete this right here, so you do want to be rather quickly. Keep failing there. Come on, we got it. There we go. <laughs> you got to be directly on top of the stairs or else I guess it won't work. So that's something for you guys to note now. See, I love being able to inform you. Don't want to start that when you're on like kind of one step on the stair. You want to do this rather quickly though because the girls are going to be coming back through here. Once he's uh, behind there, go ahead and move. As you can see, it does take a lot of uh, perfect timing in order to, uh, to do this. Alright, I'm in no rush right now, really, so we're just going to be waiting around this corner for a guard. There's going to be our exfiltration point right there. I like how the music, <laughs> the music goes in and out. Alright, so there's that guard. Sometimes there might be a guard coming through there. See, there he goes right there. Alright. Let's head down here and take out the power. And we can steal the stuff. Once you've done that, just go directly across. 
get in here and uh, grab the contents of the safe. And go ahead and grab this statue. No reason to rush here. Alright, the technician is on your way, so you know you got a guard there. Alright, sit here and wait for the technician, and then we should be good to go. And there you go. Mission complete. Another real quick mission. Moving on our way to Silent Assassin, hopefully. Let's see if we can get it. Like a glove. I just love saying that. Alright, looks like we got it. We got another M4. How many how many M4 rifles did this game need to give us? Alright, perfect zeros down the line. Hopefully you guys enjoyed very straightforward mission you can uh, of course achieve it in different ways uh what was really funny was i saw that once we were dragging the body behind the bed that you could activate the love something so i wonder if there's like another special way you could kill him besides what i just did but that's uh, a really quick way to get in there and get out and uh complete the mission in only four minutes and 40 seconds and of course that does include um the cinema and everything like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed again if you need any tips or if you have any tips for me of course because i'm still learning just like you guys we're all the same here and uh, i want to appreciate or should i say i appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel uh, 2014 is going to be nice and strong and we're starting it out with a bang so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one peace out bitches Forty-seven, this is Diana. We require your services once again, and this time you will have to prove your money's worth. Our client has lost some cargo, which he wants back at any cost. It appears to be stolen by a bunch of renegades armed to the teeth. The cargo is hidden somewhere in the desert. This is a two-stage mission. First, you must eliminate Lieutenant Ahmed Zahir and get a map from him. It shows the location of the cargo. He's quite weak, has a pacemaker, and goes for a nap every day after noon prayers. So this is a good time to eliminate him without raising any suspicions. If the alarm is sounded, the mission will fail. He is well guarded and behind locked doors, where only his trusted personal bodyguards have keys and access. Both his and the guards' quarters are situated in front of the palace. When this is done, you will have to kill Colonel Mohammed Amin and steal the key he's holding. It's an important part of the cargo. Call me when you're done with the lieutenant, and I will brief you on the whereabouts of the colonel. On the video, you can see both targets. It's the lieutenant entering the house. I repeat, eliminate the lieutenant without any alarm. Get the map, and call me for further information. What's up, ladies and gents? I am your host, Sinistrain01, and we are back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. Of course, this is on Professional, achieving the rank of Silent Assassin. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, this is a pretty fun mission. I think all the missions that take place um, for, for this part of the game are actually uh, really kind of fun to do. And it's it's a little weird um, coming back to this, you know, after been after I've been to Afghanistan and seen how it is there and that kind of stuff. So, But nonetheless, it's still a really, really fun mission. And we're going to get right into this. This is mission number 13. All right, so as far as weapons goes, and I still have no idea why I don't have any anesthetic. Um, so it looks like we're not going to be able to use any of that anymore in this whole walkthrough, which is going to suck. So we're actually going to have to kill anybody that we need to get by if we can. Or we'll figure a way to get by them. So uh, let's see, what am I going to take on this mission? I think I'm just going to take my ballers because uh, that's how I roll. So we're just going to take the ballers. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and it's go time. Murder at the Bazaar. Only one way in here for me, 
it seems. If I make an inconspicuous approach, I should blend in just nicely and get the job done. Probably a few obstacles to clear away. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. It's go time. Pretty much uh, go to the left as soon as possible. Stick to the far right as soon as you can, and when you get up here, slow it down just a little bit as you don't want to make noise. You don't want to get the, uh, the lieutenant who's actually in here uh, for any reason to look in a certain direction. If you want to speed up this process here, all you got to do is just open the map twice. Sometimes it takes three times. Actually, you didn't do it that time. What do you know? It's very random when it does it. There we go. Alright, so sometimes he's looking in this direction, sometimes he's not. You might have to restart if he is. Alright, this time he's not, so again, it might take you a few times to figure it out. Uh, but sometimes he does look in the direction you're not able to get up, as I did. So, if it takes you a few times, whatever. Just as long as you try to do it the way that I did, then um, you should have better chances as far as making it. So get up here. Do your nasty. It's going to be guards coming in through the bottom. Diana, it's 47. First part of the mission is completed. What's next? That's perfect, 47. Now continue to your next assignment in this area. To comply with our client's wishes, you must assassinate Colonel Mohammed Amin and obtain the key he's holding. He is right now in the souk with a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate to exit. Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way, but hurry, when the guards find out that the lieutenant is dead, the colonel will most definitely try to escape. Alright, this next part is just pretty much waiting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the bazaar here, and we're going to be waiting at a certain point for the colonel, for kind of like the right time to strike. So as soon as you start seeing these guys, of course, just take it slow. There's also a way that you can get up there, let's say if you want to maybe snipe him from up there. But uh, you do have a, uh, you have to get something off of him, so you might as well just go in this way to make it a little bit easier for you. All right, so there he is. Unfortunately, if you've been doing everything the way that I've done and the timing is correct, it is going to take quite a little bit of time before he actually um, gets to the place that we want to. So I am going to skip ahead once we get up here. That way you guys don't have to wait. But you will have to wait if you go through this mission. But it's not that bad. You just kind of wait until he gets over in this area. So I just pretty much go over here. Get behind this little stack of crates right here and make sure you get down. Alright, you can see where he is right now. And like I said, he does take a little bit of time before he gets over here. So we are actually going to go ahead and skip right now. Alright, ladies and gents, he is now heading our way. So we're going to wait until he actually gets in here and turns around. Alright, get out your fiber wire. He's not in here for that long, so make sure you get in here while he's uh, taking a little bit of a smoke break. What a great bodyguard, huh, ladies and gents? First thing you want to do is make sure you go ahead and grab him and uh, pretty much drag him back here so his guard doesn't see. Just in case. And pick up the key. Alright, just because you don't want to, uh, you know, alert anyone too soon, sneak out of here a little bit, uh, pretty much until you get out of this little room and then you're good. Alright. As you can see, he does turn around, but as long as you're out, then you're uh, pretty much good to go. There's no reason to rush here, so we're just going to walk until we get to the exit. Alright, so we're just going to be heading out. Actually, I think this is the exit I really don't... <laughs> I believe it is. There we go. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So, it does take a few minutes for that guard to kind of come around to the other area, but I went ahead and just skipped that because there's really no point in just sitting there and waiting. Uh, there's other ways that you could do it, but this is probably... Um, uh, the most stealthiest in my opinion you know you're uh, if you think about it nobody was alerted whatsoever nobody found any bodies nobody did any of that and we got out without anyone saying anything we could have sniped him from above and of course like you said like I said before if you try to do that method then you're going to 
cause a lot of problems because they're people's going to hear people's going to see the dead body and then you still got to go down to the body and retrieve the key so it's definitely a little bit better to do it this way hopefully you guys enjoyed again don't forget to comment rate subscribe and we will see you on the next mission peace out bitches 47 your target is a local khan abdul bismillah malik you won't have any trouble recognizing him his picture is on posters all over the city He's currently trying to sell the cargo to the UN, which is here to check out the goods later today. The Khan is returning to his palace together with a contingency of UN troops. They will arrive from the east along the road. Eliminate him before he reaches his palace, but without harming any of the UN soldiers. It will be detrimental to business, 47, so keep it clean. The villagers are a bit edgy if they catch a foreigner carrying big guns around within their perimeter, so watch your move. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinister One, and we are back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin professional Silent Assassin walkthrough on one of the most difficult missions in Hitman 2. And uh, I'm pretty much going to show you the most beast and boss way to complete this with no casualties whatsoever except for the target itself. Uh, strictly nice and stealthy. And uh, yeah, this mission is the Motorcade Interception. First thing I want to do is go ahead and head straight. Um, as soon as as soon as it starts out go okay now there's two really different options that I can choose from up ahead depending on when I see those random civilians as you can see right there a random civilian occurs so I know okay there's only one option that I'm going for when I do this and I'll show you what it is Mr. 47 I am very honored I have your supplies it is very powerful take care nobody sees it it's very dangerous the Khan is returning soon. Maybe you can stop him. Maybe before they get in East. May Allah help and protect you, Mr. 47. Thank you. Better get out of the way. This will get messy. Alright, so go ahead and pick up your sniper rifle. We're going to have to be a little patient here. Um, this is very difficult to do. This will take you more than one time. You will spend hours trying to do it the way that I'm going to. But... As I mentioned earlier, when we came through this point, you saw a civilian behind one of the guards. Now, if you see him, then the only route that I would recommend is this route that I'm going to take. So I had three options going into this level, depending on where I saw civilians. If I saw them in one spot, then I would do one uh, completely different type of assassination. If I saw another one, it would be different. And if I saw the actual civilian right in front of me, straight up ahead, where that guard is, you kind of saw him coming through, this is the method that I recommend using. Um, that way you don't have to restart every single time. It kind of sucks. So you have three different options. So go ahead and leave the weapon there. Of course, we're waiting until no one is looking in our direction. Okay. The mission actually will not start until you get to a high advantage point. Because your mission is to snipe the Khan uh, from his vehicle. So all you got to do is get up into a high point. There's two locations that you can do this from. Straight across where you see that big thing right there. And then this location right here. As soon as you do, go ahead and get down. Pause the game just for a second, that way you have a soft landing and you don't die. So, what that means is that kind of triggered the con to actually, or the motorcade to start coming in. So you're going to see that the motorcade is approaching the city. Now we're going to go back to where our weapon is located. Remember, when we don't have a weapon in our hand, in the civilian uniform, we are free to move about, run, do whatever we want. Just be cautious when you're around other civilians. Like I said, the civilians in this mission make this harder than it actually really is, because it's all random. So that's why I had three different approaches. This one is a shot in the dark approach. This will take you more than one time. I promise you that. Okay, the motorcade is going to be coming across here. If you aim exactly where I am aiming, all right, to the T, and you time it 100% perfect, you will be able to get this shot off. And here we go. That is not easy. Okay, the moment you do that, drop your weapon. As you can see, there's a guard coming towards your direction because he heard the sniper. As long as you don't have the weapon in your hand, you're fine. Remember, they are not shooting at you. They are actually just shooting in the area of where the sniper shot came from. So, you are absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about any of the soldiers, okay? There is, however, just going to be one alert, and that is, of course, because you actually killed the guy, um and you know people heard it and people are shooting so as long as you stick close to the outside you're good to go and this is the only escape route 
So ladies and gentlemen, let's find out how we did if we got our silent assassin. That's right. So a lot of you might notice that this is a very difficult mission to do for those of you that have played this in the past, okay? Uh, most of the times you go and you you kill the con, you, you usually do it from those high vantage points and you wait until the vehicle gets a little closer and then you shoot. But getting to those parts means that you have to take out some other soldiers um, take their uniform, their disguise, or you can find a way to kind of sneak around the whole way. I actually found a way to sneak around without taking disguise or taking out any soldiers. That also took a long time. So really, those were my two best options. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully this was a little bit informative. If you have any questions on timing, anything like that, just let me know. Uh, this was a really fun mission to actually get, and I knew I'd be able to do it. It just took a little bit of time, a little bit of concentration, and a little bit of effort. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video. Is this one of my harder, more uh, challenging missions so far in Hitman 2? Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bitches! 47 is Diana here. Your assignment is to eliminate Lieutenant Youssef Hussein, commanding officer of an underground base. See the surveillance video for ID. Also, you need to secure the cargo that the Khan tried to hide here and have it transported safely to the surface. A chopper will pick up the cargo. Lots of soldiers on the base and patrolling guards on constant high alert. They will react immediately and swiftly if you are detected. Stealth and surprise is important here, 47. I repeat, access the base, take out the lieutenant, and secure a safe transport of the cargo to the surface. What's up, ladies and gents? This is Sinister 1 back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. This is a pretty difficult mission, probably the most difficult mission that I have done so far. I know I keep saying that, but they just keep getting harder and harder. So there's two parts to this level. There's an inside uh, kind of down in a tunnel, as well as there's an outside here, as you can see. There's only two infiltration methods. We're only going to be going one way. There's a lot of different randomness that can be happened with the guards, especially on the outside. Really, the most difficult part is actually on the outside of the base. Uh, as opposed to being down in the tunnel. So once we get down into the tunnel, there's really only two things we need to do, and that's kill the lieutenant, as well as get the cargo and get it to the top, uh, to the helipad and whatnot. But once we actually get the cargo to the top, to the helipad, then it's also going to be even more difficult too. So there's a lot of stages to this kind of level. But uh, we're going to try to do it nice, silent assassin, of course, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. The only thing I'm going to be bringing on this mission is uh, my Ballers SD. Um, we're going to be picking up some more anesthetic, which is really good. Um, this mission is a very difficult mission, and I hope you uh, guys enjoy it, and uh, let's do it. This is Tunnel Rat. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is immediately start heading this way. There's a couple of different methods you can do, but like I said, the guards are kind of random as far as... Um, uh, really two kind of guards in their patrol route. So the best way that I find to get in there and get inside the base as quick as possible is to go this route. All right. Um, what you want to do is just keep sticking to the wall as much as you can. There's going to be a guard up here as you can see. You don't need to take out anyone on this outside perimeter. Just keep moving uh, and you should be fine. Now head to the right here. You're going to want to make a little bit of running noise because you're going to want to make sure that the guard is looking in the direction. Now guards uh, in this level will have a little bit more kind of AI stuff about them so uh, that's the reason I ran over there is because I want to make sure that guard kind of heard a little bit of my noise so he actually stares over in that direction so we can sneak up behind him now you're also able to try to actually sneak past this guy and go inside without using a disguise although you're really gonna need a disguise in order to get out and uh, to finish this section the way that you're gonna want to so we're gonna go ahead and take out this guard here uh, you don't have to worry about anybody seeing him. There's no other guards that are in this area. They left and they won't be coming back anytime soon. You're going to have to uh, obviously take his disguise, pick up his weapon, and pick this lock. You can use the map trick. It might take you uh, two times or whatever. But Alright, so now really that's the easiest part in the game. Okay, and So next it's going to get a little bit more difficult and then towards the end it's going to be super, super hard. So uh, there's a guard that's right around the corner. You can barely see his shadow, and then you see his weapon right there. So we're going to just stay behind him. As soon as he starts to move, then you can move. Just move really slow. Remember, we are in a disguise. However, when you get too close to a guard in this level, they can obviously tell that you're not a part of their outfit. So 
just stay a little bit further back and don't try to get too close to the to the guards now, as you can see there's these kind of little areas underneath to the left that you can actually get down and sneak around however we're not going to be using that just yet as we want to just keep moving forward this guard's going to be turning around when he gets right up there so go ahead and get somewhere to the side right here uh, there's going to be another guard that passes on the left uh, they're going to talk for a few minutes, and then this guard is actually going to be heading back in this direction. You're going to want to kind of just wait him out until he heads back, but don't leave too quickly, as if he turns around, then uh, it is possible that if you're too close to him that you will be spotted. So just go over and get around this corner. As you can see, there's a lot of parts on this level that aren't, aren't really done. So like there's a lot of doors you really just can't enter. So there's really only one door that we're going to need to be entering. So I'm going to show you exactly where it is. Once he's past the point of where you think he'd turn around, if he heard you walking, you can go ahead and start running. Um, there's a couple of guards up here. Uh, just wait around here a little bit. You don't have to be this uh, far away. You can move up just a little bit more. But as you can see, there's this guy. He's kind of looking in this direction. He's going to be turning around walking the other way. But you saw that there was another guy that actually went into the place that we were uh, that we actually need to go. He's actually just hanging out on the outside of the door. So just kind of wait. If you're a little bit further back, then you're not going to have to worry about him. He'll eventually move, and then you can get up and do what you need to do. Again, like I said, this part might seem like it's super easy, nothing too hard or difficult so far, but that's because it took a lot of practice just to get up to this point. So go ahead and drop your weapon and get down. You don't want to make any noise in this room as the lieutenant will be able to hear you. So get out your fiber wire as this is the main target that you're going to need to take out. Now I'm going to look through the door here so you can actually see what he's kind of occupied. He's kind of doing some stuff right now. So it's the perfect time to get in there and uh, to uh, fiber wire him. Although it is funny how his body already drops dead and you're pretty much fiber wiring air. But what's even more funnier is that his body magically disappears. And I wanted to pick up his weapon because he has a desert eagle that, or a deagle if you want to call it, um, that you're able to pick up. However, for some reason it glitched. Uh, it says you can drag his body, so I try to drag it, but there's no body there. So unfortunately I'm not able to get that extra weapon so we can add it to our collection. But definitely you want to pick up this anesthesia because I haven't had any anesthesia this whole game except for like the first two missions and now that I finally got anesthesia back um, it's, it's great now that I actually have it so as soon as uh, you look through that make sure that there's no guard because he will be coming up and standing in front of the door get down as soon as possible as you can see one to the red very very quickly but if you're sneaking don't ask me why you're able to do this because it doesn't make any sense but um, that's just kind of the way the game is so uh, once you get to that point you're free you can just really start running um, take it a little bit slower through here as we don't want to mess with this guard too much work the, the the middle part is almost pretty much done It's just straightforward till we get to the uh, helipad then it gets really freaking crazy But um, so far we're doing really good now You might have seen earlier in the video when I did the mi the, the mission screen um, That I actually had the anesthetic well when I did this mission. I didn't have the anesthetic. I actually um, this is when I completed the mission. I didn't want to record my live voice because this was a very difficult mission to get through and I wanted to concentrate. So I did the um, I did the mission briefing beforehand. That's why you saw the anesthesia in my actual um, in the, the stu equipment that I have. So as you've seen, I just went straight through here. Pretty much just watch out for guards. Keep moving. Don't stop. Get down as soon as you do this as there are going to be some guards that will come running through to this area. So as long as you're out of their way, they're not going to see you or anything like that. So this is where the difficulty lies. And people that have played this mission forever know this is a tough mission to get Silent Assassin on. Uh, mainly because of these two guards up here. We're going to need to take them out via anesthetic, but uh, we'll do that as soon as we uh, finish with this cinema right here. Nice work, 47. Secure the perimeter at ground level in case any soldiers have turned up. Alright, so this is the most difficult part in this mission. There's these two guys here that you're going to have to take out. I don't know if you can kill them or not. I don't know if you can just take like a silenced weapon and just shoot them in the head and not worry about it. But um, we're going to go f obviously for the more silent approach. Now you only see one guard there which means this guy's on patrol somewhere. He has a many different ways that he can go. Really the way that I just showed you earlier and then there's also the way that I'm looking at now. So I don't see him at all so I'm thinking okay this might be the perfect opportunity to uh, take this guy out. So when you get close to him, you got to be slow because this it's so random. It's like when you get close to him, they decide to do different things at any given time. So just because it happens the way mine does doesn't mean it's going to happen the way yours does. Now you just saw that guard come around, so I was going to 
I was gonna take this guy out and then he came around but luckily as soon as he came around he actually turned back around so that gave us the opportunity to come up behind this guy and take him out so when you do take him out make sure you use a couple of the anesthesia um, as you want to make sure that he's out at least long enough for you to get the second guy now remember this is all random okay you never know when you're gonna be able to get behind these guys because in this game you move so slow when you're in sneak mode and if you're not in sneak mode it doesn't matter even if you're walking they will turn around so you're not easily able to get behind them and that's what makes this part of the mission very very difficult and in general that's what makes Hitman 2 Silent Assassin very difficult because of how slow you move and the fact that if you walk they will hear you which is definitely more realistic but also definitely a challenge so we got the first guy pretty easily so thank god for that because I'm telling you it probably won't happen the first time that you try it so you just gotta stay away from them a little bit and you gotta find that right moment to actually be able to do it now with this guy see I can move around run around freely without him being too disturbed at what I'm doing as long as I'm far away from him now he will always go back to that point that he was when he was next to the guard. However, if you get too close when you're walking and you'll see up ahead that he'll he'll turn around and, and he'll hear your footsteps and he'll start to come back towards you. So you definitely got to make sure that you're a little bit smarter when you do this. Even if you're slowly walking, sometimes he'll just turn around and there's, see, randomness. Now you think, okay, shit, he's heading back this way. But you go far enough away from him he turns back around into the point where you want him so really it's a lot of trial and error and what sucks is you gotta go through all of that beginning just to get to the hardest point in the game and then if you mess up there's nothing you can really do so I honestly admit I got super lucky on being able to get it like this and that means the mission is complete and let's see what we got Well, that's usually a good sign when it says M4 rifle, so looks like we have achieved the rank of Silent Assassin. We only killed one enemy. Now, again, if you had anesthesia, you didn't even have to kill that enemy. You could have just taken him out, but like I said, I didn't have it when I actually completed the mission. So overall, we're doing pretty good. Our stealth is still at least in the 95 to 96 percentile, and um, we've did everything we really needed to do. This is such a great game, and I've had so much fun. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches! Forty-seven. This is Agency Diana speaking. Fabulous job you did on your last mission. Everyone is impressed and has been trying extra hard to find information on Vittorio. So far, no luck. But rumors about your comeback are spreading. Your skills are in great demand by our customers. So, no news on Vittorio's whereabouts? Well, basically still no news. Even though there have been rumors suggesting Eastern Europe. That's not good enough. He might as well be dead then. That is statistically very likely. In that case, cancel my funding to track him down. Deposit my total fee in my usual account and raise it by 50%. Terms non-negotiable. 47. You do understand that insisting on such terms, you will most likely be sent on far more dangerous missions from now on. Some of those are going to be regular suicide missions. I can handle it. Just put me on my next assignment. 47. This is Agency Diana speaking. Your mission is to gain access to the sacred cult through a secret passage from behind one of the shops. Our client was double-crossed in Afghanistan. That chopper plus cargo was stolen by this cult, and now he wants you to retrieve it. We have some information that a couple of thugs are on the prowl inside looking for suspicious foreigners. So check your map and watch your step. You'll find your contact inside the International Parcel Service. He will have more info on your mission. 
Be careful, 47. Rumor has it there's a very powerful foe lurking in the shadows somewhere close to the cult leader, wherever he is. 47, I repeat, dodge the assassins, find your contact, and he'll brief you on further mission details. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrina One, and we are back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. And we are ready to move on. Uh, all we need to do, uh, obviously, the mission objective first off is to meet with the agency's contacts. So we're going to view this second video here. Uh, there's no, like, sound or anything, so I can talk over it. This is a fairly easy mission. There's going to be a couple of people that we actually have to kill, a couple of assassins that we're going to be taking out. Um, it's random and stuff like that about as far as getting caught and all that. So it, it is kind of a difficult mission, but definitely a little bit easier than, than say, the, the last mission that we did. Um, I'll show you guys a map of the area. As you can see, it is a big mission, and there's a lot of different ways that it could be done, at different places that the enemies could be. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, the things that I am going to be bringing are, let's see, I'll bring my ballers. An aesthetic, just because I might use it in some of the next missions up. And I'll bring the combat knife. All right, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's go time. Temple City Ambush. Religion and power. Not a bad combination in this business. Better look sharp. The locals seem edgy. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just pretty much head out here and go immediately, immediately to the left. We're going to meet up with the first contact here. Hello, Sahib. Where do you come from? You should try Carpets Inter. The best on the market. i show you on map. Alright, open up your map and now you're going to find out where exactly he is. Alright, he is all the way over there, so that's where we're going to need to head. There's a, a lot of little rooms like that that uh, your contacts can be in. That guy's always going to be in that place, but this next guy is always going to be different, so... You can tell that we just came across some type of guard as our black meter went up a little bit when we were running. So, obviously we're still pretty far away from where the next contact actually is, so just keep heading all the way to the left side as much as possible. Uh, we're getting there. All right, looks like we found him. All right, you're going to talk to this guy. He's just pretty much just only going to tell you uh, that there's two guys after him. Not too much of a big deal. And now we're going to head and kill some assassins. So just go out to the main kind of area, which is right here. All right, we've already found one. Alright, he can shoot at me all he wants. We're just trying to get him to come in here because that's the only way it's really going to work. As you can see, he backs up sometimes, so it might take you a few times to actually get him. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. Alright, we did it. Let's grab him before anybody else sees. All right, now we need to get our camera that the uh, CIA agent, or whatever you want to call him, gave you. We need to photograph evidence that we actually killed him. And it's time to find the second guy, which he will actually be a sniper. 
And he'll be in one of these rooms up here. One of these... Uh, whatever you want to call it. So if no one has spotted you yet, that means he's not in this area. Usually. I definitely cannot see anyone. So that, uh, that means he's up ahead. There he is. We'll fiber wire this guy. Now there's also one more guard that you really have to worry about. Sometimes he'll follow you if he sees you. So hopefully he won't... There he is, right there. The guy that's down there. If he sees you at all, he'll start following you and it can be really, really... It could, it could make things a lot worse because he just won't give up as far as trying to find you and locate you. And But he's very, very far away right now, so I feel safe and comfortable. Alright, so let's remember where this thing is so we just need to go straight this way luckily he is somewhere completely away from us right now Make sure we're heading in the right direction and I think we made it great you're back and brought both photos yep sure looks like a couple of thugs we better be going the entrance is behind one of the other shops. Once inside, you'll have to find and kill the cult leader's personal physician and main propagandist, Von Kamprad, and then on to Hospital Island, where the cult leader is. Alright, so now you can uh, actually find out where the exit, which we're not even that far away from. And then that'll be it, and we'll see if we get our... Silent assassin. Nope, oh, I did not want to go up there. <laughs> and there's the exit. The hardest part is getting the guy in the baseball cap. Because he'll follow you for a little bit, but then he'll just randomly start shooting at you. And you don't really know when he's going to do that, but you need kill him away from everybody else and he only stays out in public so that's why that one was a little bit more difficult let's see how we did though hopefully we got our silentist yes there we go all right so there's the mission for you that one's um kind of difficult but at the same time it's not that difficult um it's okay if you know like I said, the guard in the baseball cap shoots at you whatever just get someplace where he'll follow you in and then you can take him out and as long as you don't do it near anyone else then you're fine now the guy who's a sniper he's pretty easy to take out just look through the windows uh, there's different areas where he could be and once you find him kill him take both photos and then you're pretty much good to go so hopefully you guys enjoyed again don't forget to comment rate subscribe and we will see you on the next one peace out bitches 47. Once inside, you will have to find and kill the cult leader's personal physician, main propagandist, von Kamplach, and then on to the hospital island where the uh, cult leader is. Uh, sorry, but Diana has taken a leave of absence. For some reason, there's no audio in the video. Um, that's just, I think, all around on all consoles. There's no, Diana never speaks during that part. So I thought I would have a little bit of fun with you guys. But uh, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrano1, and we've got more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying so far. This is the woman that we're going to have to kill. And as you can see, she took this guy's candy and flowers. So we're definitely going to hunt her down. But this is a simply straightforward mission. Very easy to do. Uh, shouldn't take you more than once or twice to really kind of get the lay of the land. It's not a very big mission. Um, the only thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is there are a lot of guards and you will have to use disguises and you know how that kind of stuff goes. So um, keep it with a grain of salt. There's a lot of different secret ways to go about getting to your objective and what you need. Um, 
The, the method that I'm going to use is I'm not going to take anyone out except for the actual target. I prefer to do that when I have the opportunity. This is where you're going to be able to kill her and then there's only a certain spot that you can put her in in order for the mission to actually complete. We're actually not going to take any weapons on this mission because we really, we really, we don't need any weapons on this one. We're not going to really do anything except for um, kind of take her out. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but the death of Hanelope. Nice place, Sorry. if you're rich and sick. This Dr. von Kamprad probably has a big office upstairs where the wealthy patients receive treatment. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and start right out and run. Run like the wind. Uh, stick to the right side as sometimes the guard up ahead will turn around and the other guy is going to turn around up there. We're going to find a secret entrance. We're not going to take anyone else out, so we're going to try to sneak in through the back door. Or should I say through the uh, the, the sewer, sewer door. Um, all you really have to do is you have to follow the flow of water. Okay, if you follow the flow of water, then you will be able to find actually where you need to go. There's a lot of turns left, right, and all that kind of stuff. But um, uh, mostly you're turning left. It's like a huge NASCAR race, and you're just going to keep making another left turn. Um, so as you can see, it's flowing down, so keep following the water. Stick to the left side all the way up till you get to pretty much the end, and then you're going to go to the right. So you're going to take about maybe four lefts, I think, don't quote me, um, and then a right. So this is the longest tunnel ever made, which is pretty funny. Um, that right there should be the last left, so it might be three lefts, I don't know. Um, and then the next right we see, that's going to be the one that we take. And this is going to take us into like a inside the actual compound, and we're going to be able to get a disguise that's so very hand handily placed in a, in a place where we can actually get to. Now, the trick here is depending on when you actually went, this is where you're going to make the right. But the trick is, depending on actually um, the timing and whatnot, so you're going to have to worry about some of the crazies or the patients or whatever. The patients will give you away, especially when you're in this disguise. So once you go up this ladder, you're going to have to be a little patient as there are guards as well as patients going back and forth. So we want to make sure that we're going to wait here until we see a guard. Usually every time you get to this point, there's going to be some type of guard going around that corner right there. So wait till you see him. Now, notice I don't see a patient just yet near me which means that he could be in, uh, there's two rooms here, there's one patient could be in this room and if he sees me then he's going to actually call for help. So you definitely, each time you go into one of these rooms you want to make sure, but it looks like the patient's still inside here. So if he's inside that means we need to find a way to the next room without alerting him. So um, if you've done everything correctly then you can just keep going, and, but make sure you go into this room as you don't want to stay outside for too long there's too many guards there's no more patients or whatever that are going in any of these rooms so you can freely just run back and forth to each room but always be a little cautious uh, and then you should be fine As you can see there's a nice little outfit for us and we're gonna go ahead and grab that and now we're free to move around a little bit more with ease and all that great stuff so uh, first things up is we need to grab some poison and the key in order to be able to get uh, to the place where we're gonna lock her down so it's just a matter of kind of just getting there or whatnot. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where that stuff is. It's pretty much the exact same place we were, except it's the opposite side. So it's not really that too difficult to find. You just go through here. There will be guards kind of on the other side of this door here. So definitely be uh, cautious. As you can see, there's a couple of guards right there. So you might get a little red, but if you keep moving, you'll be fine. Grab this little key right here, as well as the poison that is on the left up here. And now you can actually head to your main objective. We're gonna take her out. So again, because there's guards here, you know, keep moving. Don't stop. If you stop, you will be caught. It's that simple. So once you get past there, then you're free to pretty much run. And uh, these guards are gonna pretty much let us in because we have an appointment. So we're a kind of a, you know, this disguise. Even though we probably don't look anything like the guy, but uh, we're still able to get in there. So don't, don't, you know, don't ask me why. But uh, he sends us right on through, and uh, this little lady is going to take us to our destination. But we want to beat her to that destination. Ah, Lord Sinclair, the doctor's waiting for you in her office. Follow me, Sahib. 
So make sure you follow her and you don't do what I did. I don't know where I was going there. But um, yeah, so you see the guard there. As you can see, I'm not following her. I'm actually doing my own kind of thing. You want to be ahead of her as much as possible as the timing requires you to actually go before she does. I know where I'm going, so that's why I'm going. But um, if you don't, this guy right here, when you actually kill the doctor, will enter this room uh, at the at the wrong time. So that's why you want to do it early. Clear, isn't it? Come in here. Have a seat, bitte. So, you are up for a kidney transplant next week. I have a feeling we would have a compatible unit for you by then. Our initial tests show a fine prognosis for the operation. The treatment will of course include immunosuppressant drugs, powerful antibiotics to lessen the load of the new kidney. Now, this will of course incur some extra expenses, which I certainly hope you will be capable of paying. I might have forgotten to mention this during our previous conversations, but a specialist like myself has so many patients to attend to. Anyway, a down payment of $50,000 for the treatment should cover the costs and... Ach, but you already know this, of course. Your lovely wife got the same treatment only two months ago. What is her name again? <coughs> Alright, you saw how we poisoned her drink earlier. Make sure that when you do poison the drink, when you first walk into the room, you do it when she's not looking. And immediately you want to grab her body and you want to go. Because like I said... If your timing is off at all, if you took too long and you didn't beat her there, then that guy is going to be coming around and inside the room right when you're trying to drag her body to where you need to. So make sure you do that early enough. That way you can get in there. So there's really only one room we can put her in, and this is the room right here. So pretty easy, lemon squeezy. Just get her inside. Objective is complete. And now all we got to do is exfiltrate. So we're just going to go back the same way we went. Except maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Just be cautious around guards. You guys know the deal. I mean, even if you're in a disguise, you know, you should always still be cautious as if, um, as if you're not. So just make sure you know where to go and you go the right way. All right. So what you guys didn't probably know is see where the water's flowing right there. Um, we're actually going to be going back in the sewers except... We're going to be in the same place where we were before, and you'll kind of see it a little bit if you uh, watched. This is where the water is kind of flowing down. So there's the stairs before. Like, if we would go right now to the left, and that's where we went up that ladder to get inside. So now we're just making our way back. Obviously, you're going to make a left first, and then you're going to make a bunch of rights. So and that's how you just follow the flow, and uh, it should take you to where you need to go. And then we're going to go back to where exactly where we started. And then that will be the mission. So this is a fairly straightforward mission. It's not too difficult. Um, it's kind of weird because, you know, the game said, hey, these missions are going to get tougher because, you know, we're paying you more money, yada, yada, yada. However, they actually, are t from a player standpoint, they're getting a little bit easier. And uh, the next mission is definitely another easier mission. And it's a pretty fun one too. It's a, it's a huge level, but you can get lost if you don't know where you're going. But luckily we do, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. Again, all we're doing right now is just kind of making our way out, exiting, keep heading towards the right every single chance that we get. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. I know a lot of these videos have been short, but I wanted to separate them as I always do for these kind of games. Is I want uh, for that person, that random person that says, hey, I never was able to get past Mission 13. Well here's mission 13 I don't want to put mission 12 and 13 together or, or I don't want to put just part 1 part 2 and have you no idea where the actual mission is so it's a little bit easier to locate it in a playlist when it says mission 12 so uh, for those of you that are actually wondering so once you get over here get inside the boat and you have completed the mission Bam. like a glove I need some new catchphrases 2014 come on alright so do your little saving and there you go, ladies and gents. Silent Assassin, all zeros. Not a very long mission. Uh, probably a couple of other different ways that you could have done it. But that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out. Bitches. Forty-seven. This is Diana. There's been an unexpected turn of events involving our recurring client, Sergei Zavorotko. 
it appears that he is the terrorist whose nuclear arms got... Forty-seven, this is Diana. Your mission is to find the cult leader, Diwana G, and eliminate him. He's presently committed to the hospital to undergo heart surgery. He needs a new heart and a pacemaker. The complex consists of the hospital itself, as well as a Shiva temple, reserved for devotional and religious practices for the top members there. The hospital has different floors, with sick wards and treatment units. You will find a package in Dr. Shakran's office with equipment that will help you complete this mission. I repeat, 47. Collect the package, find the cult leader, and kill him. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrano 1, and we are back, and we've got more. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. Uh, let's go ahead and get a kind of a map of the island here. This is a very big mission, but we're going to be able to do this lickety split, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, areas that you can go to, ventilation shafts, the uh, basement floor, and obviously you can see that's kind of where the target area is. So... Hopefully, we're going to be able to do this nice and silent stealth assassin like we normally do it. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, we'll bring, let's see, some anesthetic. A scalpel, because we're going to need a scalpel. Um, now, remember, if you probably wouldn't have these kind of things if you're going through the mission for the first time. So, these are some of the, the things that you get during the mission. Like, this scalpel you actually pick up for completing this mission. So, um... I will still show you where you can pick those up. That way you guys at least know where you can get the scalpel because you will need a scalpel in order to complete the mission. Uh, as far as anything else goes, I think that's about all we need. Just scalpel and, and anesthetic. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's go time. Terminal hospitality. hospitality. All right, first things first, just head straight. We're going to be going up here. As soon as you get to the top of these stairs, slowly roll down a little bit, get into a nice crouch position, wait till he's not looking, and then go. If you're fast enough, then you should be able to get by this guy as long as you're crouched, even though you're moving slower than molasses, you'll still be able to do what you need to do. We're going to do this without taking anyone out but the actual target itself, which are my kind of favorite missions. I don't want to have to mess with anybody unless I really have to. And this is one of those missions where you really don't have to, so that's always a plus. Alright, so just keep going, heading this way. If you've timed everything correctly, then you shouldn't need to stop. Just gotta kind of worry about that guy a little bit, but if you're far enough back, then you're good to go. And by the time you get here, that guy should be plenty enough ahead, so... All right, now we got a disguise and we can easily make our way inside complex. This is a huge complex with a lot of rooms that you can kind of get lost in. So really, let's just stick to the objectives and show you where everything that you actually really need is to, to kind of find out. All right, here we go. Infiltration is complete. We can do the map trick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. These nurses, they can, um, they can be a little tricky to get by, so. So just keep constantly moving, you know, there's no reason to stop. These are just your normal average guards. And you're in a disguise that's not really going to get you caught unless you do something really stupid. Um, this girl is really hard to kind of get around. We need to go into that room there, but there is an alternative method that you can actually get into that room. Which I think is just easier to do instead of having to try to sneak by her. You can just get up here. 
If you land correctly, then you should be fine. Hit the LB button when you land, that way you don't die, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to head in here and grab our new disguise now. We are a doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Always wanted to be a doctor. Alright, we're going to have to pick this lock, though, to get back out. Hey, the door trick worked. And you can walk out, even though uh, you walked in uh, in a different type of uniform, but... <laughs> She's not too smart. That's the way I like them, though. Don't want them too smart. That's a lot of nurses right there. And they're all exactly the same model. <laughs> Alright, so we're already almost pretty much halfway done with this one. This is a very short mission. It just it just takes a little bit of time because of it's a bigger kind of a level. Now I know we like skipped a lot of places, but there's a lot of rooms upstairs, downstairs, a lot of floors that you can go to and find different things. So if you want to do some exploring and you've got a, a perfect uniform to do so, you know, obviously do your first one, get as many weapons and stuff that you can on the level, and then complete it, and then come back and do it this way. That way you can uh, have uh, get the most weapons and. For those collectors out there. Alright, so stick to the left. Alright, there's two rooms next to each other. One room has the scalper that we're going to need. Don't worry about this guard there, he's a little punk. Alright, this is the one that has the scalpel. So if you need the scalpel right there, you can pick it up. Scalpel. However, what we're going to go in is here. And of course, if you do the old... Sometimes it works to your uh, advantage. Now, this is where the lights are going to turn off. Um, this is also where your binoculars, excuse me, your night vision will come in handy. However, I feel that it's almost just as difficult to see in these things, but we're going to try to make it through and see if it works. So, we'll use them because you'll be able to see a little bit more clearly. I could see without them, but I want to make sure that you guys can see, so we're, all we're doing is heading back out to where we were before. We don't have to worry about any of these guys. Alright, so this guy's going to be in one of these rooms. If I think he's already, I already know which room he's in. But I found it to be the best luck to look around into different rooms as um, since it is kind of random based. Um, actually, right there he is. Bam. See? Totally random based. <laughs> Alright, so this is where you want to get your scalpel out and kill the cult leader. So it is random based which room he's in, so you'll have to just look around. I got lucky right there and found the exact room he's in. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm still doing here. I <laughs> like how they're, they're down. They're all scared. Um, I'm heading towards this door on the far end over here. As it is the easiest way to get back out. Just making sure. I don't know. I saw like that little kind of redness thing come up there. I got a little scared there for a minute. I thought someone was going to find me. No trick today, huh? Alright. So now we're just going to head back to our beginning point where we started. And we're pretty much done with the level. So as you can see, it is not a difficult level whatsoever. Pretty easy to do. Might only take you one or two tries once you know um, where the exact location of things are. You get to skip a lot of the level. But for those of you enthusiasts, enthusiasts out there that want to actually look around and see what there is in the level then by all means I am not gonna go for my uniform you don't have to get it there's not like any prize for getting it so and there's still a few more guards to worry about so I'd rather be safe than sorry Alright, up ahead's gonna be pretty funny. What? Are we killing ourselves? You can actually follow him. 
You can't really kill him though. As you can see, he goes in. Oh, bam. And you can actually see what happens if you do go in there. Now, I'll just go ahead and skip the video to the point where we did the same thing, where the guy comes up, and that way we can continue. So don't follow that guy. Um, I actually did not know that that was going to happen, so I'm going to do the video completely again, but you guys won't see it because you've already seen what I've done, so magic. And we're magically back. He takes a few pot shots. We're not going to be dumb this time and follow him because we'll just die. So just go this way, and you should be complete with the mission. Let's see how we did. Actually, we did. We I went through that, and I did a lot faster um, because I didn't have to explain anything, so I went through it even quicker. So it should even be a better time than it would have been in uh, the part that we actually did. So yeah, it was only 6 minutes and 15 th seconds. I think... Um, the other one would have been around seven or eight minutes. So that one was pretty good, but there you go. That's pretty much how you complete that mission. And I showed you what happens if you decide to run after Hitman 48, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed again. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches. This is BBK News, live from Hospital Island in the remote Punjab region of India, a place of serenity and peace. Until the recent investigation of several brutal deaths inside a local cult has led to the discovery of a number of nuclear missiles. The helicopter in which they were found is directly linked to the Russian crime lord, Sergei Savorotko. Bardak, how in the hell do you know I stole those warheads? Everyone who knows was killed. Those three guys in St. Petersburg, dead, zip master dead. Nobody knows. I made sure, что за хуйня. That is true. What if the guy you were using knows? Oh, какая жопа, you're right. He is the risk we have to eliminate. I get that Peter Gnoyne for this. How do we kill him? He is a like prizrak. Don't you worry. I know exactly who we need and how to handle this. Hmm, my friend. If you're thinking about the same man as I am, then you're brilliant. Go ahead. 47, this is Diana. There's been an unexpected turn of events involving our recurring client, Sergei Zavorotko. It appears that he is the terrorist whose nuclear arms got stolen by the Indian cult. The UN has reasons to believe that Sergei is dealing in vast amounts of nuclear and chemical arms. The UN has no mandate to handle such contingencies, but they still want to eliminate this world terrorist. So this is where we come into the picture. Redemption at Contrano. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. 47, this is Diana. There's been an unexpected turn of events involving our recurring client, Sergei Zavorotko. It appears that he is the terrorist whose nuclear arms got stolen by the Indian cult. The UN has reasons to believe that Sergei is dealing in vast amounts of nuclear and chemical arms. The UN has no mandate to handle such contingencies, but they still want to eliminate this world terrorist. So this is where we come into the picture. It's very much against our principles to perform a hit on a former customer, but considering the potential business from the UN, we're making an exception in this case. And since you already know the area, and you are our top performer in the trade, we have chosen you to carry out this mission. Sergei is still occupying the same office in St. Petersburg, where you carried out the first mission for us, coming out from retirement. He's very paranoid by now. Check your map refresh your memory, and retrace your steps there. Upon arrival with the metro, you will find your equipment in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. 47, I repeat, take out our former client, Sergei Zavorotko, in his office on the second floor in the Zaitsev building on Pushkin Plaza. Same place, same procedure. Good luck. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistra, and we are back with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. We only have two missions left, and we will be done with this game. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the walkthrough so far. We're going to show you how to get Silent Assassin on this mission. This is one of the easier missions, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Let's do it. St. Petersburg Revisited. All right, so first thing you want to do is just pretty much go. We're not going to be going the same way. We're not going to pick up any stuff from the locker. We really don't need it, so uh, we're just going to be going. 
Now, uh, if you remember correctly, and of course, the last time I played this mission was just about a year ago now. February, it'll be a year. Um, we went down there. However, this time we're going to go up here. There's not as much, like, kind of... There's not a, a big meeting of generals now, so it's not really that much of a big deal. So you can just freely kind of run throughout this area, and uh, you're going to be just fine. So, as opposed to what we did last time, we picked up our sniper rifle, and then we went a certain direction. We used a disguise and all that great stuff. We're not going to be needing to do that on this one. Um, it's pretty... It's a lot more straightforward, say, than the other one. You can see that's kind of where we came up the last time when we went through the sewers. So, uh... This is a pretty fun mission. It's it's not too bad. We get to um, we get to kill someone that's that's kind of cool. It's a little funny uh, to do, but hopefully you guys will enjoy. And if you just follow the route that I do, then you should be 100% fine, and you shouldn't have any problems on this mission whatsoever. Every I expect every single one of you to be able to pass this mission first time go, because it's that easy. So just keep going. Just don't stop. You know, give yourself a little bit of space between the guys. Not that it really matters because um, you're fine really. So. Stick close to the building here, and I'll show you why in here in just a sec. But as you remember correctly, we went through that building last time, and we sniped to this building. However, this time, we're actually going to go inside the building, so it's a little bit different. Alright, so when you get up here, slow your roll a little bit. When you get to these stairs, <clears throat> we're going to take it really slow. We're going to get out our fiber wire, because that's all we need. I like how you can hear the snow on the outside. Okay, it looks like it's a normal room. No one's in there, right? Uh, wrong. We have our clone. I believe he is Agent 17. <laughs> We're gonna take him out nice, nice and stealth like. You cloney, 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 cloney. Here, George Cloney, 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 Cloney. Like a glove. <clears throat> Another brother. Thought I killed all of you. But I wonder who's behind this. Trying to kill me with a lesser hitman. Seventeen? Do I have a problem? Report back. Seventeen. Did you take the bait? What is it? Seventeen. Are you there? Where are you? Far away. Why? What do you need to know? Sergei. Seventeen is gone. This is forty-seven. Forty-seven? But, uh... You had your chance, Sergei. Now get off my back. Or I'll slit your throat. There must be some misunderstanding. But me and my friend Vittorio think so. You got Vittorio. Let's just say he is here for uh, spiritual guidance. Sergei, you keep Vittorio out of this. Understand? Staging his own assassination. Double crossing creep. Alright, so first thing you want to do, and you want to be rather quickly with this, we're actually going to take his disguise, it's going to make things a little bit easier, but we do need to hurry. The music is kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get out of here. We are now in his disguise, as you can see. Well, you can't really see because we can't turn around just yet. But we have his glasses on, and we have a different colored tie, so we can move around here with this weapon very freely, which is kind of funny. But whatever you do, don't stop because you're going to need uh, as much time as possible to get into the sewers so that you're not going to get caught. <clears throat> There's really nothing you can do. They're automatically going to find his body, the guards are. So if you go this way, you get into the sewers quick enough, then you won't really have to worry about the guards too much. Alright, there we go. We made it down. And now we just got to kind of go back uh, the way we did in the first time that we were here, so it's not too difficult. Just be a little bit more cautious, of course. Because there are guards that are down here, and you can be caught, so. Stick to the left side as much as possible. Maybe slow your roll a little bit. You don't want to be, uh... We're trying to remain inconspicuous. You know, we're a bald clone, so... Alright, in case uh, you wanted to see, there are guards over there. 
So we're just going to retrace the route that we did in our first uh, mission that we, or the, should I say the second mission that we did when we were here before. Once you get up here, slow your roll a little bit. We're just about done. These are like the last real guards you got to worry about. Except, well, there's about one more, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a random guard, so we'll, we're still going to be a little cautious when we get up here, but... Gotta love the map trick, huh? Just gotta look on your left side here, make sure that guard's not there, and if he's not there, run. Run like the wind. And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. First time go. Very easy mission to accomplish. Hopefully you'll have the same outcome. Let me know, of course, in the comments below once you have completed this mission. And it is fairly easy for being the second to last mission, so. Alright, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Silent Assassin, 6 minutes, 11 seconds. Um, one alert, but that's automatically. You're automatically going to get that, so there's not really any way kind of around it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the final mission for Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. Peace out, bitches. Redemption at Contrano. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrino one We have the final mission for Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. This is not a stealth mission. There is no ranking. This is run and gun, and uh, we get to kind of have a little bit of fun. We have to take out every single enemy in this level, so there's really no strategy to do it. I mean, just don't die, but we're going to at least show you what I think to be the best way to get through all the enemies and hopefully be alive at the end. So as you can see, we start out with just our fiber wire, which means that we're going to need to go to the shed and uh, get all of our weapons that we've collected so far. Uh, there's two strategies I like to do. One is for the outside, one is for the inside. The outside, I like to get them all to funnel towards me, and to do that, we need to make a run for the actual um, shed, so... Just go this way, the way that I'm doing, and hopefully you won't get shot that much. When you open this door, make sure you close it right back because you're going to need the, the time to actually pick up this weapon here. Alright, so we're going to get in this little corner. Let them kind of funnel in. Make them, make them have to open the door. Got a little lucky there. Okay, listen. The, the biggest thing is you need to listen. I don't hear any more soldiers. Usually you'll know if soldiers are coming because it'll say they're, someone has found a dead body. So that's like your kind of biggest giveaway. So I think we've taken out all the soldiers that are on this bottom floor, bottom outside level. Next one is you need to make sure that this glass is shot because you won't be able to shoot through the, through the actual window or through the glass. So take out that guy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Over here, grab the SMG, holster it, and grab the sawed off. As well as pick up your M4 again. It looks like we have still a lot of health left, so we have a good shot at being able to do exactly what we need to do. Make sure you have everything for everything. Reload, because then you can pick up more. Alright. Sweet. And I think we're ready to go. We should have a sawed off, an SMG, and a 9mm. You can see all the little, see a little itty bitty gun right there? That little itty bitty guy. <laughs> Alright, I think we're really good to go. It sucks that we got no, like, grenades or anything. And it, what it sucks is that we didn't finish the level with the crossbow. That'd be kind of cool, but we got the katana and all that kind of stuff. So, I think we're ready to do this. The main weapon of choice is going to be the 9mm. Excuse me, the M4. <laughs> Uh, the reason they want the M4 is because it's going to have the, the biggest amount of range. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is even though it has a scope on it, you actually can't <laughs> look through a scope. So Use the map trick. And we're going to grab the, uh, the church key. We're going to go through the front door. I find it best to go through the front door because then you can uh, take out the soldiers kind of like one by one. As opposed to going through a different section. Uh, remember, when you go up against guards, they can kill you rather quickly in this game. Especially the snipers can shoot you with one shot and you're dead. So you definitely want to watch out for that. For like I said, most of the time we're going to be using the M4. As long as you don't run out of ammunition. Always go for headshots. Look through the door here. You can see there's one guard there. There's another one to the right that you can't see. And there's going to be a third one coming through. So 
Stick to the right side a little bit. Open it up. Take care of business. And it'll be one more guy coming through. There he is. Sometimes the guard will come out through here. Alright, he didn't. So before we take him out, though, we're going to take out the guys over here. There's a sniper and this guy. Alright. Get one at a time. Go through each section one by one to make sure that we do this right. It's going to be a guard as soon as we open this door. Bam. He's dead. Alright, we're going to head up here. There's a couple of places where guards are going to be. Stick to the right side of the doors if you want to be able to take out the guards without them really getting a shot on you. Always reload. There's a guard right there. We don't have to worry about him just yet. There is a guard over here too, up on the top floor, but he's obstructed, so we'll go to another section to get him. Don't go too far out because that guard up here will be able to see you sometimes. This part can be a little tricky because we need to... Oh, there he is. At least get his head kind of out of the way. See, these guys make it more difficult than it really needs to be. Because they sit there and hide the whole time. Alright, so we're probably going to have to take this guy out from over here. Alright, he's behind cover. Alright, unfortunately we can't get to the other guy and there's a guy right there too, so... We only have 12 shots left, unfortunately, so this is going to be a very, very close thing to do. Okay, we can see him. I don't think we got him. That's alright, because now we can go to our SMG. And when we come over here, stick to the right side, because these guys can shoot me really quick. And that should be all of them. They're all done. Sweet. Son, there is still a solution for you. You will find peace in the heart. Alright, you heard what that guy just said. You will find peace in the heart. Which, um, if you remember correctly, I know you probably aren't going to remember very well. But um, go ahead and pick up this guy. Make sure you still have your, your SMG on you. Alright. As you can see here, there is a heart. So, and he is right there. So you're just going to pretty much shoot through the heart. Alright, he's going to do his thing, get your SMG out, he's going to be going... I usually like to go all the way back here to make sure that I got cover. And there you go, that's it ladies and gentlemen. We have completed Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. My son, I, I knew you will come back. Please, take this. It will protect you and keep you from harm. Pray for me, my friend, and promise me you will follow the right path. Promise me to live your life the right way. Promise me to follow your calling. Promise me. I promise. You have been a friend to me, but I must leave this place. As you see, I can be of better use elsewhere. My son, always watch your step. Carry this crucifiso, a symbol of the good things in human beings. 
questo ti proteggerà da lui. Thank you, Father. I must leave. Always knew I never belonged in this world. I wasn't made for this. But I'll never forget those who betrayed me and those who never failed my trust. I'll be carrying nothing from Contrano but this lesson. Never trust anyone and rely on your instincts. Forget the past. I'll never find peace here. So, I'll seek justice for myself. I'll choose the truth I like. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well there you go, I hope you enjoyed our Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough uh, on professional difficulty with a Silent Assassin ranking for every single mission. This has been such a great game and we're going to continue with Hitman Contracts, that's going to be the next game up, followed by um, Hitman Blood, whatever you want to call that, Blood Money, yeah that's right, Hitman Blood Money. So we're going to kind of continue the series and the games that they were released, uh, trying to get all the whole Hitman series done. Uh, thank you so much for all the comments, for all the uh, the likes, the favorites, and all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any other strategies for any of the missions, please let me know in the comments below or in the comments of that specific video, as um, we're always trying to find new ways to complete awesome games like this that really give you that open sandbox kind of feel in it. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next game. Peace out. Bitches!